test hey guys how's it going we're live we're finally live um let me see sorry it took so damn long um that's good awesome it worked so oh, oh, oh wait hold on a second hold on a second let me turn off the thingy light um go back to the starting There we go. Welcome back to another stream. And this stream is going to be special because this stream has been like, God, six months in the making, dude. Like, people, I think we did a, we, like, one of our goals in November when people were donating um, was to build a gaming PC. Um, and I've never been able to get a graphics card since then, since last year. And now, finally, I have, and it's here. Look, oh, look at this big, ba big bastard thing. The NVIDIA, oh, is the focus working? Hold on, let me get the focus working. But yeah, NVIDIA 3080 Ti. Um, really don't know how I managed to get this. I just randomly happened to be on the stream when you guys were talking about the, the drop, the graphics card drop. So, um, back at it again with the black gloves. I certainly am, Mr. Bofa King. Black Nile Trail gloves. Perfect. No, nobody's going to be getting I think, any fingers up the bum today. I will not be checking nobody's prostate with these gloves. Don't worry, they're for PC building only. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Brad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where I was going with that. I was trying to make a funny, a funny joke about um, Brandon and the cheek clapping and all that shit. But no, no, I'm going to stay away for that. It sounds a bit weird. Um, the nitrile exam gloves. Bend over, guys. <laughs> Let me just make sure that your um, prostate is doing well. Um, he's going to murder that PC and hide the body. I um, oh God, I hope not, dude. How much? How much I've spent on it. Um, so, um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, I look at look at the new view that I've got. I've got a top down view for you guys, so you could see see the stuff as I'm building it. And obviously, I'm going to be rotating this camera around. Um, around to like the desk and stuff you know as i work on stuff so hopefully it's all good for you no loop please <laughs> yeah hope not <laughs> so yeah um basically i haven't built a gaming pc in like 10 years or something like that maybe a bit less i'm not sure but it's been a long time and i'm nervous as hell so if anybody has any pc building tips i would love to hear them i've got my my um i fix it kit down here which i'm going to be using to um basically build this bad boy um Sweet, can you turn the lights on? I will turn the lights on, in good time, in good time. No, I'm going to build it in the dark, dude. Be nice and spooky. Um, a new use for thermal paste. <laughs> Remove all static from your body. Oh, talk of the witch. I do have an anti-static wristband. I just don't know where to put it on, like where to clip the crocodile clip onto. Do I clip it onto a piece of metal on, like the, under the table or something? Um, I don't know. Anyways... Let's, um, without further ado, let's get the camera over here set up, this right camera, and see if I could do this. Hopefully this goes well, guys, because I'm going to be so pissed, like, pissed off if I somehow manage to break this, um, break this, um, what do you call it? Break the, break the PC that I've just spent all this money on. Um, I bet you guys will have a good time laughing, though, won't you? <laughs> Alright, here we go. You need to clip it on a ground wire. A ground wire? I don't have a ground wire, dude. I don't have a ground wire. Fuck. Alright, let me get the iPad up so I can read everyone's chat messages as this goes down. Oh god, I'm scared, dude. I'm scared. This is too much money to be fit for someone like me to be messing around with and hoping and praying here. Um, let's see if I can turn this light on. Get a white light on too here. There we go. 
This one's a flip shoe. It's not the brightest, is it? Okay. Oh, here we go. And I've also got the front camera here. Let me see if I could pull that over here. Front camera. There we go. Hello, everyone. Um, and top down. All right, I'm good to go. He uses both wrists. Use it on your least used wrist. Attached to a metal case. I don't know. I've not got anywhere metal that I could really put it onto. Um, let me see. Guide, guide me here. Where should I clip this onto? Right. I'm gonna take the camera off, and hopefully you guys can like sort of, um, I don't know, guide me on where to put it. So this is my setup here. Um, so I could clip it onto. What if I clip it onto this? Would that count as a ground and wire? Like, if I clipped it onto this little bit metal on the chair. Would that be okay? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, no, yes, no. If it's painted, no. Yeah, that will that'll be painted, won't it? All the stuff, even like the metal underneath the desk, that won't count, no. God oh, damn it. Table leg might work. A table leg, alright. God damn I don't know where to put it. Uh Oh, you know what? I'm wearing rubber gloves. It's hard. I'm hardly going to have uh, static jumping off my nitrile gloves, am I? It's fine. We don't need this. It's fine. I've watched a Lioness Tech Tip video. It says static electricity has a, a low chance of damaging your electronics. So I'm going to I'm gonna take Lioness for his word here. Um, all right, let's go. Um, so top down. So I'll put this bad boy over here before I damage it. Ugh. Um, put the motherboard, let's open the motherboard up and see what's what in the motherboard. Oh, and let me get the live chat up as well, because I want to see, um, I want to, um, see the chat over here. And let me put that tweet out, just in case anybody, anybody left and was like, oh fuck, Blaze ain't, ain't building this PC today, I guess. There we go. All right, let me get the live chat up so I can see what you beautiful people are saying. Because I do, I'm, I am going to need like as much help as I can get tonight. I mean today, and hopefully, if I can get this built before like 3 p.m. When does the battlefield beta end, guys? Do you know? VA tracks is here. How's it going? And when you turn on your PC, just download DBD Dead by Daylight. I guess Dead by Daylight. I will download that. That'll be the first game I download on it. Just don't install PC components wearing a fluffy sheepskin coat. Coat will not. I'll make sure not to do that. Chris Gang, how's it going? Renegade, lol. This dude has made too much money off this channel. That's your money he's spending, lol. Actually, surprisingly, some of it might be. <laughs> but no, no, this is from... Not from YouTube money. YouTube hasn't made that much money. Well, yeah, well, actually, some of it is, actually, because I'm pretty sure we'd, like, had donations for a PC last year as well. Plus, Mark put $20 towards this, so Mark owns uh, Mark owns a percentage of this PC. <laughs> Place to K today to launch. Renegade built your own channel. Stop hating. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Um, I donated to buy the power cord. Thank you, Mark. I really appreciate it, dude. Your power cord. Your, I mean, let's be honest. The PC would not function without your power cord, man. <laughs> so let's get this bad boy. Actually, fun, funny story. I bought um, I bought an AMD um, X570 or something motherboard, and then I saw there was a there was an MSI one, something something, an MSI X570 Tomahawk or something, and apparently it was it's a little bit it's supposed to be a little bit better than. The one I did have, so I actually returned the eight, the Asus one and um, bought the MSI one. Oh god, dude! Look at the, we've got motherboard cables here. We've got all this. Um, I go to top down view. We've got all these, whatever these things are. Um, oh, these are the Wi-Fi antennas for the motherboard. All right, put them there. Um. Hey, shout out to all who helped with the purchase. Hell yeah, shout out to all who helped with the purchases. I'm, I don't know who helped out for what, basically, because donations, you know, donations are just accounted towards business income, um, along with my other incomes. So, either way, it was a community effort, I would say. Even those off the stream who pay for subscriptions on other services that I provide. 
shout out to everybody that made this possible. Let's just say that. Um, thank you so much, everyone. Instruction manuals are for wankers. <laughs> oh, no, dude. No, I'm going to be getting this instruction manual. At user guide. Let me see how many pages. 37 pages. I'm going to be going through every single page live on stream, dude. Every single page. Before we get started, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's the motherboard box here. Let's... Oh, no! Oh, the tripod almost fell down. Damn it, dude. Do we still have a good top-down view? I think we do. Woo! Woo! It was almost game over there. We hadn't even started yet. Uh, uh, over there. Either way. No, 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 no. Jeez. Oh, no! It's went landscape or something. Come on. There we go. Jeez, oh! Talk about nightmare PC builds. This is this is one of them. Uh, come to Papa. Uh, there we go. There we go. Put this over here. All right, are we good? Are we good? We're not upside down, are we? No, we're good. We're good. Whew. This ain't easy, man. Um, the tripod is dangling on the desk for like glitch. Do I saw? Oh my god, Mark sent me the video of Glitch God Gamers PS5 unboxing, and he's like, he's first, he's trying to pull out the sleeve. He's like, Ugh. he's like, fuck it, I'm just gonna tear the sleeve off. <laughs> Crazy, dude. I felt so bad for that PS5 box. This is gonna be the most ex excited, exited stream ever. It probably will, because it might be a long one. Well, graphics card and motherboard I have, it's down in the video description. All the specs are in the video description. You'll get to see the specs if you um, look at the video description. Uh, let me bring this over here. And let's switch to the telephoto lens. So, here we have it. Up close. Marky likes to cheat on scrubbings with Blaze. <laughs> I like scrubbings, he's a good guy. Let me make sure I've got that in full screen, okay. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's be careful with this, right? Oh, this is like, this is a pricey part of the PC build I think it's the motherboard so this has got a lot of like components and stuff on it that could be like I'm probably at risk of like getting broken so I'm gonna take this cover off it and we're actually gonna start installing I think like I've not got a how-to guide here to build a PC so I'm just gonna go with the flow here so I wish I had some sort of I wish I had something to put this on that was like softer you know what I'm saying um, I don't have anything. It's just gonna have to sit on the table, I think. Scrubbing is on my lap watching this build. He's installing a 30 Oh, yeah, Scrubbing did manage to get a 3080 Ti. I mean, he, he replied to my, um, oh god, look at the components on this. Um, jeez, man. This ain't no joke. This is the real deal. We're, we're doing this now. We're, we're, we're $3,000 in. I'm gonna lift this up a bit. Ah. There we go. Nope. A bit more. There we go. Yeah, we're like three thousand dollars in now. There's no going back at this point, lads. <laughs> R.I.P. PS5 box. Let's go, gamer. Yeah, man. I'm just gonna drop out for a bit and pop in back later. See how things are going. See you later. Actually, Pierce, thank you for popping in again. Point and no return. The tabletop will be fine if you don't slide stuff around. Thank yes, I'll try not to. I'll try and pick it up and put it down. What's this here? It says play hard, stay silent, zero frozer, fast, not spinning, don't worry. Okay. So I'm gonna pick this up gently. So here's all the ports that we have on it. Um Plenty ports. It's even got the Wi-Fi antenna built into the motherboard. This motherboard was like 250 bucks, so it better have everything built in. I really hope it's got Bluetooth. I hope it's got Bluetooth as well. I think it does. That means I don't have to buy an extra Wi-Fi card. Oh god, dude, I feel like I shouldn't be building this. You know, it, it feels like it feels like I'm gonna break something. It's so delicate. Ugh. Good luck not messing up. Funny moments. Thank you, man. I'll try not mess this up. 
Woo. Okay, what do I do? What should I do? PC builders, I need you. I need your help here. What should I put in first? Should I put the RAM in first, you think? Should we start off with the RAM sticks? We've got the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM sticks here. Um, Alright, damn it. What do I do? What do I do? I think... I think... Uh, put one in here and one in here right we don't start at this end no no they, well, well every time i look at someone build a pc like linus tech tips they always put the motherboard down on the ground first right and then they install the components i think so i would like to start with that yeah. the cpu oh, we'll get to the cpu don't worry we'll get there let me do the ram first just because i've got it on hand right now oh, no you're right let me take the let me put the cpu first the cpu is probably most important so let's put the ram sticks over here um okay, put those here oh god who this this could go wrong i'm literally shitting myself right now uh, uh, all right uh, this could be this could all right i need to pick up the pace a bit but at the same time try not fucking rush it so i end up breaking something um okay get the cpu opened here um, I wish I had a knife. Do I have a knife? I think shit. I think my light knife's downstairs in the bathroom. Don't worry, the iFixit kit will give me something. Um, I'll be able to cut it with like a screwdriver or something, right? Oh, come here, iFixit kit. What have you got for me? Um, CPU is also flat. Easier to start. Things are not going to clutter your space. Good idea, Stanley. Oh, I think this might do it, you think? This might cut that little label? Let's see. I mean, he is the British computer guy, so I'll, I'll, I'll do what he says first. This didn't come with a cooler fan. It's a good thing I bought the RGB cooler, right? So this is the, if you don't know, this is the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X. Um, it's got like 16 cores or something. I wanted to, but I wanted to build a PC that didn't like go out of date in like a couple of years, you know. All right, here. Oh god, dude. What do I do? What's this? Does this come off? No. Oh no. What do I do? It's been too long, man. Ah. Oh, I break this. I'm gonna be so upset. I should have bought some sort of like damage warranty thing. Um, blaze right now. <laughs> yeah, Raven. <laughs> no. Oh god. <laughs> All right, I've watched some videos in the past. All right, so I think, and I've done, I have built a PC before, so I'm going to pull this bar up, lift it up like that. Okay. Okay. Why is there not a latch to, like, lock this down onto? Isn't there, like, some sort of plastic latch thing that this is supposed to, like, there's something that's supposed to go on top of the CPU, you know? I would do CPU, GPU, then RAM. Okay. PC build kit should include Pepto Bismol. Oh, yeah, I think we've got some downstairs. You've got you've got me thinking here, right? So here it is. God Almighty, dude. Oh, there's no going back now. This is CPU. Oh God. Oh. What way do I put this in? So I think there's a triangle in the corner, right? And then there's a triangle in the corner of the CPU. So this can't be too hard. This is this is probably the this is actually the second most expensive part of the build. This CPU, I think the CPU was like was like um it was like seven nine nine. Okay, so there's a triangle there and there's a triangle there. All right, fuck me. Pray for me, guy. Pray for me, okay. Uh, tell folk two times, okay. Okay, we're going in, ladies and gentlemen. We're going in. PC build. <laughs> All right, wish me the luck. Wish me luck, because if this goes wrong, then I'm 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 royally fucked. Because this is like, this is the probably the more. Oh god, dude, what the fuck? What do I do? Um, there's the there's the um the CPU parts. Oh god, let me stand up for this one. Uh, plop it down here. 
That looks like it goes in okay, does it? I think I did it. Did I? I think I did it. All right. Um, if you have to sneeze, do it in your elbow. <laughs> I don't see anything that holds the CPU down, though. Like, isn't there supposed to be like a clip here? Let me get this motherboard. Um, let me get this motherboard instruction manual here. Okay. Quick start. Okay, so it, it's given me a guide here on what to do. Oh, I, for I forgot I've got to put thermal paste on as well. Shit. I don't even know if I have thermal paste. No! I don't know if I have thermal paste. Hopefully something came with the thermal paste. It was... <laughs> this is something I wasn't thinking about. No. Oh my god, no. I, for I forgot thermal paste. No! No! <laughs> Wait, hold on. The CPU cooler. Let me see if it comes with some stock thermal paste. I'm really glad you didn't pick up. It has to. I no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I knew there was something. Hold on. The stock cooler might come with a thermal a thermal pad on it. Um which might be sufficient for um sufficient for no. Um yeah. All right, my wife, my wife very generously offered to maybe go out to Best Buy to get some thermal paste. <laughs> no, I hate have to hate asking her to do something like that, but oh god damn it! Okay, um, okay, hold on, let me see if Best Buy has some thermal paste first. Huh? Oh, the bit. Okay, hold on. Best Buy. I wish there was somewhere nearby that we can just get some thermal paste. Okay, here we go. Oh right, yeah, Arling um Best Buy's got some thermal paste. Corsair TM XTM fifty. Th performance thermal paste. Thermal take thermal grease. Um I can't believe I forgot the fucking thermal paste. I don't know if you missed me too. Alright, I'll probably go for the Corsair TM thir oh, high performance thermal paste. We'll go for that. $7.99. Um. Yeah, this'll do. Hold on a second, guys. I need to go check with the wife real fast. <laughs> This pace might work. I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe see if you need anything else and buy it from Best Buy at the same time. Yep. Um, I think it's only thermal paste I've, I need, dude. <coughs> I've got um, the the the. the I've got a SATA cable. I bought some extra SATA cables for the hard drive. I bought um, a power. I've got the, the power supply should come all the power cables right. I think the I think the thermal paste is the only thing I need now. Do I need maybe a display port, an extra display oh I could do with some extra display port cables. Hold on. Alright, let me add this to the cart. Add the cart. <coughs> In fact no, I should have an extra display port cable and I'll just hook it I'll just borrow one in and buy the other ones on Amazon. Base buy will probably charge like thirty dollars for a fucking display port cable. Alright. Let me go clear.
All right, I'm back. I've got such a good wave. Um, switch to the right camera. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna order this one. Um, add the car. My wife, my wife, very graciously offered to go pick it up for me. Um, so let me remove these and check out with this thermal paste. What's the chat saying? Am I, you guys tear me a new one in the chat. Vaseline sounds like a good idea. Blaze, isn't your motherboard missing the CPU retention arm? I can't see it. Seems odd that it's not there. Oh no, here it is. This is it. Um, I don't know if you can see it there, sticking up. Um, what the hell's that? Hold on a second, guys. Alright, let's let's um switch to top down and then switch from that to, to this real fast. Okay. Um so if you're just joining us, or if you're just here, we basically, I've got, basically I've got everything for this PC, and just realized I don't have the damn thermal paste. So I'm ordering the thermal paste for pick pickup right now, um, and my wife is gonna go pick it up for me real fast. And um, yeah. Oh, okay. Let me just get signed into Best Buy so I could buy this. Allow. Um, Pickup person, my wife, continue the payment. Um, okay. The stream might end up being a, a long one, I'm not sure. Place order. Alright, I've ordered the thermal paste for pickup. What's to oh my bank wants to verify. How's it going? Um, okay, so um, all right, that's the ordered today. All right, perfect. Um, out of the way. Alright, so the retention arm. Quick order a dozen red roses. For, oh, I'll be ordering my wife something. Don't worry. I'm going to maybe treat her out to DoorDash tonight. So here's the retention arm that we were you were talking about, British. Um, I'm not seeing like a cover, or like a plate for it to um, go down on, but see? Okay, let's see. I'm going to, I'm hoping this is like sitting perfectly. It seems like it is. And it's lined up with the little triangle. So I'm going to go for it, I think. I'm going to go down now. And tie it under there. There we go. Is the CPU coming up? No, it's not coming up. How did it lock down then? What is it that's made it lock down to where you can't lift it up? Does it have some sort of hidden mechanism there that that grab, grabs it or something? It must do. Hmm. So, we've got the CPU installed, push down lightly on the chip, and bingo. Yeah, it seems pretty secure. Um, 
Let me, let me unthingy this real fast. Get your um, approval here. So this is it installed. What do you think? You think it looks alright? I'm gonna say I can't see. I can't see like I can't see nothing that like grabs it. Is that I pushed it down there, pulled the arm down, and then this little thing moved a little bit. So there must be something on this that um like that that clamps down on that. Memory next. All right. Okay. Um. Let's see. Memory installation. Top down. So, we got RGB memory here. Da, 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 da. Go this way. Okay. Okay, that's not going down for some reason. Maybe I'm not pushing it hard enough. Hold on. Oh, there we go. That's it. In. One stick in, 16 gigabytes in, another 16 gigabytes to go, and then we should be good. Let's flip this, flip this, um, and I think that does, yeah, that's the right direction. Push this in. There we go, that's that in. Oh, we've got the RAM in! Um, not that slot. Hey, it's in the right slots. What are you talking about, Eddie? You're trying to trip me up. Because on the P streaming PC that I've got right now, it's in this first dim slot, and then there's a gap. You know, there's it's n there's one not in the second one, and then there's one in the third one. So it's one and three, or it's two and four, I think, right? So I think that's correct. Um, Mr. Siptastic, trying to trip me up. Um, check the motherboard manual, make sure what slots to use, right, okay, I'll, I'll double check, but I'm pretty like 90% sure that has to be it. <clears throat> oh wait, you're right. You're right, you're right, god damn it, you're right, it wasn't that slot, you're right, fuck. Let me, let me, hold on, let me look in my, um, other PC real fast. Well, that's, that's the way it's supposed to go on the other PC. Man. Installing DDR4 memory. Okay. Dim, dim A2. Dim B2. Maybe it's supposed to be the other ones. God damn it. All right. Ugh, come on. I think it's supposed to be dim A2 and then dim B2. Fuck, you're right, you're right. Okay. Yeah, um... Yeah, I see which ones are the right ones. It says on the motherboard there. I just need to move these up one. Come on, come to Papa. Come on, let me come out. Come out, come on. Let me come on. I'm being gentle with you. There we go. Alright, put this in. Dim B2. Okay, there we go. Click it in. Okay. Alright. Lift this up. Lift this up. Put this in Dim 2. Dim E2. There we go. Click in. Okay. There we go, and I'll shut these little ones that are empty. Right, we're in the right slots now, right? <laughs> Pretty sure if you use the furthest and the second closest slot from the CPU, you're only using two memory sticks. Okay, okay. 
What's good, Blaze? Building your new computer now, sweet. Yeah, I am. I'm doing it. I'm scared as hell, though. I'm probably going to break this. I'm not going to lie. It's probably going to be broken. I'm scared to scared to hell right now. Um, I've just installed the RAM, installed the CPU. Um, I've not, I've not um unboxed the the case yet. I'm going to get to doing that now. Also, I forgot the damn thermal paste, didn't I? So, so my wife is having to go out and get that. God bless her. That's all I can say. Um. Yeah, this did, I don't think this cooler came with um this cooler didn't come with um the cooler didn't come with um thermal paste. All right, so what next? You got this, bit. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm worried. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm really worried. So I'm the, I don't know if I could do this now. It's, it's like what you know. I was all down for it, and now I'm like, fuck. I think I've bitten off more than I could chew. Um. Okay. So. Do I install this? I probably don't install this into the case now, do I? Probably not a good idea. They could check to make sure the motherboard fits the chassis. It should fit the chassis. Um, the, the, the PC case is pretty big. Yeah, turn the camera around here. Um, I mean, it should do. It's like an... ITX That's it. Me keys. Motherboard. Alright. Why does all focus keep like switching on no? There we go. Let's open this big big thing. Put this over here. Forgive me, I'm in my PJs, alright. I have to be comfortable. Size matters, but the holes need to line up. Fuck. It should do, because this is a pretty, like, it's a H710 Premium Mid Tower ATX case. I'm pretty sure that's like an ATX motherboard, or. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. You could be right. This could go horribly wrong, and it might not line up. But we'll see. It's a pretty common motherboard that I've got, and it's a pretty common case that I've got, so I'm just assuming they go together but if they don't then you'll be hearing a couple of cuss words this is not meant to be a short stream guys by any means this stream could go on for six hours seven hours i don't even know um pc builds have usually been really time consuming for me um so let's see here how do i get this out back <coughs> put on its side and put it upside down Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, take this off. Take this off. This is the bottom of the case. Right. Kill me. Why did I do this, man? I should have, I should have built. Uh, I should have got a pre-built. <laughs> I should have got a pre-built. Oh, famous last words. The the carpet and the sock combo is going to cause static. Oh, you think? <laughs> yeah, well. I mean, I would love to have had a house with just hardwood floors everywhere. And well, I've got, I've got, listen, I've got this, the nitrile gloves, okay? Well, that's some protection towards static. Um... Okay, so oh, this is a, this is a big case. What's well, it's a bigger case than the other one. Jeez, this is a big fucking case. Um, okay, nice. Uh, let's put the motherboard to one side right now. Okay, um, put it over here. Put it on my computer desk. Um. And I put this big case on the table. Oh. Caution, caution, temper glass handle with care. Okay, top down. Oh, okay. Lay step one, remove all styrofoam peanuts. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry, I will not be fucking that one up again. I'm not, don't worry. 
I made that mistake before, dude. As you well know. Um, does it have risers on this? Like, I know they talk about risers all the time. Hmm. Like, you need to install the risers. I'm pretty sure, like, I, when last time I installed a PC, I don't think I put risers on it. <sighs> now I can't find my screwdriver. Where's my screwdriver? This is going to be a long, tedious fucking stream, dude. I, I could just, I could just feel it already. The fact that I never got the thermal paste means I'm already behind, and I'm gonna have to wait for that before, like, getting this thing fully properly installed. I think I'm gonna have to install the cooler maybe first, right? Oh, I've got the NVMe SSD. I could install that into the motherboard. I just remembered. Um. Nice, Pete. Thank you for my PGA compliments. Um. Okay. Measure twice, cut once. Please, don't why worry. It's not like it costs thousands of dollars. <laughs> That's true. This All this cost me like 50 bucks, man. I'll be fine. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Okay. Let's open up this bad boy. It's not wanting to open up. Oh, great. This is a similar thingy case than the one I've got. So, this is a similar case. The one I've got for the stream PC is a H510. This is a H710, so it's slightly bigger. Um, oh, okay. Cool. Well, it looks like it's already got RGB fans in there. So, where does the radiator go then? Where the hell does the fucking radiator, radiator go? Oh, I've bitten off more than I could chew, dude. I give up. That's, this is the end of the stream, guys. I, I'm starting to realize that I'm out of my depth a little bit here. Okay. My OCD makes me want to remove that warning label on the secret lab chair. What warning label? <laughs> is there a warning label on it? Oh, well, there is. Um, Killing Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. Let me see. So these fans here, these are NZXT fans. Am I supposed to take these out and put them the the cooler in there, or does the cooler go at the top of the case? Hmm. Let's see. Does the case even come with a manual or something? Please tell me the case comes with a manual. Oh no, it doesn't. Unless the manual is somewhere in the form. No. Yeah, this might be a two-day project. It doesn't look like I'm going to play Battlefield. I don't think I'm going to get to play Battlefield on this today. The Battlefield beta. This, this is looking like it's going to be a two-day stream. <laughs> um. Okay. God, I fucking hate this already. What have I done? British computer guy is the manual. He, he, does, he would make a good manual. He does no more than me. Uh, RIP playing the beta on PC. I know, funny moments. I'm like, oh, the PC parts came in last night. I can get started on this in the morning. I actually overslept a little bit, so... Uh, let me see. Have they, like, hidden the manual in this back panel here? No, they haven't. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a box down here where the SATA SSDs, the SATA drives go. Um, cardboard box down here, let me see. Oh, come on. Ah, come on. Ah, come to Papa. Papa, please. The nice thing about this case is you push a button on the back. And the back panel just comes straight off. So there's a little sneaky box down here. I'm guessing this could be 
does this come with like a bunch? What are all these cables here? Are these like SATA cables or something? What's going on? Oh, oh fuck! I don't know. I don't know. NZXT, a box has been found. That's always a good sign, isn't it? Okay. How do I lock this? Can I lock this? No, there's no way to lock the autofocus. What have, what have we got in here? What is missing? Um, the thermal compound for the CPU. Um, I, that's the one thing I bloody forgot, wouldn't it? And nothing, nothing. I don't think nothing that I got came with thermal compound. So I'm basically up shit's creek. Um, oh great, we've got cable ties. We've got a million different screws. Oh, lovely. I'm dead. I should have done a bit of preparation before this. Um, so, what does it say here? SSD trays, timber glass, rear, rear exhaust fan, removable radiator, something here. Let me see. Number two, page two. Oh, I hate when they do these manuals, and it's not a manual. It's like a big, massive thing that just fold, like a piece of origami that folds out. The color, the cooler comes with it pre-installed usually. Yet, yeah, um, thing is, I've got this big radiator, dude, that has three fans on it. Um, I don't know where the radiator is gonna go. Let me see. Okay, 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 okay. I think the radiator on this goes at the top of the case. Look, you see. It says that 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 there is the radiator bracket. Um. So hopefully, we could slap that big radiator in at the top of the case. Oh, EC building is so fucking frustrating there. Okay. Marky Mark says, Verdict is in, I'm definitely building a pre-built. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, no. This couldn't go any more wrong. Kill me, please. Um, I'll do this. I have to do this. I've invested the money in this. It's it has to get done. Um, the cable management might suffer, but it's got to get done. Um, okay. So the radiator fan it says goes just like a a bit at the top here. Oh, kill me. What else is here? That's a bunch of cables for I don't God knows what. I'm gonna need to install the power supply. I should probably do that now, right? Let me go over here. Oh no, I'm gonna knock down the damn the top down tripod camera. So how do you get this this um lid off? Blaze became a total tech member. They will give you a they'll give you support on PC building. Total tech. Are you talking about on? Are you talking about about Best Buy? <laughs> That's the last thing I want. You know, is to to have to be telling someone stuff over the phone. I'm not very good at phone calls. Top panel. All right, I think the top panel just pops off. So right, let's try and pop off the top panel. Let's see. It's got to be a way. Um, to pop the top panel off, is there? No. Top panel, come off. Damn it. Um. Why? Why did I do this, man? Why did I do this? What have I done? I'm, I wasn't prepared for this. I might just have to build the PC off stream because this is getting me stressed out. Geek Squad drives their van to your house with lights and sirens. Full 100 mile per hour code red if you're a Total Tape member. Oh, they do? Oh. I could have, um, I could have easily put in the title, like, Complete Noob Tries to Build a PC. Probably would have got 
more traction, probably got more some actual PC builders in to come give me advice. Won't be through it. Oh man. Is that a button? No. Okay, so there's RGB up there. Okay. Yeah, that does look like a place where a radiator would sit, doesn't it? Um. Okay. <laughs> Right, so let's get the the cooler open. Oh, rest in peace, Blaze. Right, rest in damn peace. Oh God, did the radiators got twenty four washers. 24 long screws, 12 short screws, like all these riser things, like 12, 16 little riser things, and like this little turn screw. Oh god almighty. Oh, is anybody watching the, um, the, what do you call it, the Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder fight tonight? I'm planning on, planning on watching it. H7, 10, 9, build, guide. There we go. There we go. YouTube always comes in clutch. Let's go back to the motherboard real fast. Oh, I should totally not stream this, dude. <laughs> what kind of stream is this? Idiot builds a PC. Um, 
<laughs> Idiot ruins his PC. Is he watching a YouTube tutorial for PC builds? I am actually because um, the reason the reason why I'm struggling a little bit right now is because it's a case that I've not worked on before. The, it's been ten years since I built a PC. It's a new case. There's like other factors in the case. Um, this new cooler water um, cooler that I've got here. This is something new that I've not used or built before. Um, so I've got to figure out the ins and outs of the case. Where to put this in the case. Um, and all that good stuff. It's YouTube picture in picture. Oh, this is... Hey, hold on. This stream isn't meant to be a tutorial on how to build a PC. No. <laughs> this is by no means a tutorial. This is... And nowhere does it say tutorial on how to build a PC on this stream. This is... This stream is like a... Uh, I don't know, a disaster video. How to how to how to ruin your first expensive PC build? <sighs> Set up and warranty guide. Oh, great! Mm. And yeah. Um, leave him downstairs in his, um, in the bassinet, and I'll come down and check on him in, like, a minute or two. Is he asleep? I'll probably bring him up, I'll probably bring him upstairs here after you leave. Oh, will do, will do. This one of those RGB fans. I don't I don't I'm not seen any RGB anywhere. Unless it is. Unless it's got like an RGB light on the inside. Yeah, it must do. Oh god. Blaze, I took a nap. <laughs> yeah, if I, yeah, Blaze is like be like, fuck it, I'm gonna scalp the GPU. Yeah, man. That's what I feel like doing right now. There's no lie. What the hell is this, dude? What's this supposed to be? Oh god, like 50 mountain plates here. Oh god, oh my, you know. Oh god, look at this. Look at the amount of screws. This is like, this is perfect for Halloween, dude, because this is more scary than any fucking scary film I've ever watched. Oh, God, just when I thought that pack of screws was a lot. Look at this pack of screws, and this is just the damn cooler. Oh, no. Oh, and here's all the bolts and shit, yep. Yep. Oh. I think these are the motherboard. Did this come with the case or did this come with the motherboard? Oh god, I'm by you. I think this came with the, um. I don't even know. I'm lost, man. Filing, filling the cooper with water, maybe, dude, you're probably not going to use all the screws. Yeah, no, I know. I probably used very few of the screws, but still, this is daunting as hell. I need to go get, like,. I've, I'm, I was trying to avoid drinking this week, but I'm going to need a drink for this shit. This is stressing me out now. <sighs> oh, God. Why did I do this? I should have just, I should have built a pre-built from NZXT or like something, you know? Uh, it's not too late. I could return all this. 
I could return all this, it'll be fine. I could return it back to Amazon and then order a pre built. <laughs> um, oh no, no, this is a bad idea. Uh, let me have a drink. I've got my I've got my one gallon tumbler here filled with um filled with whiskey. <laughs> one gallon of whiskey. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> yeah, Sipdasic, I know. I wish I could teleport you here, man. Alright. Let's bring the motherboard back and install that NVMe card. My wife's away to get the thermal paste. It's not going to be... There's a few challenges, right? I need to figure out how to get the um, the the water thing. I think this has got... I think this um, cooler thing has already got water in it, dude. Um, it's already got liquid in it. All right, let's install the NVMe SSD. Before I cry. Let's let's make let's make it, yeah so it's, it's a gallon of whiskey by Shanna definitely not it's not water in there it's whiskey I knew this was going to be stressful okay so this goes with the case I will put this over here you know once I do this this is the thing once I do it you know it's gonna building PCs again or even upgrading this in the future is going to be a lot faster or a lot easier I should say. Um, so let's. I'm gonna need a smaller bit for this. Once, once, once. You know, this is gonna be a. This is a learning experience, is what this is. You know, it's stressful. It. It's gonna be hard. But once I do it, I've done it, and then it'll all be good. Okay. So. Let's see. I wonder if this cover goes back on, or if this cover stays off once you've got your NVMe SSD in. Yeah, that needs screws taken up on both sides here. Okay. I think this is like a heat sink, is it? A heat spreader for the NVMe. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is like a heat spreader for it. Yeah, I would say it goes back on. Yeah, yeah, because it's got like it's got this little like it's got this little sticky thermal pad stuff on it. So um, yeah, it's probably gonna go back on, right? All right, let's get this NVMe out. What an amazing wife I've got, man. She's like, she heard me complaining about not having thermal paste. She's like, I'll go out, I'll go out to Best Buy for you and and pick it up. And we went to Best Buy yesterday in the drive. It was, I guess, depends on depending on the traffic, you know. It, uh, it can be either a pain in the ass going to Best Buy, or it can be not too bad. All right. Is there a latch, or does this just go in? I guess this goes in like that. There we go. NVMe installed. I'm gonna have to go get the baby. For a second, guys. NVMe has been successfully installed. Now I believe I'm gonna need to peel this off and let's see. Was this this way? Was everything this way? I think it was. Yeah. Okay. Peel this little sticker off here. The thermal, the thermal pad, and then place this on. That's a standoff, right? Yep. Okay. Oh no, baby's crying. Hold on, guys. Gotta go be a, gotta go be a dad right now in a second. Hold on, 
Hold on, baby. I'm coming. I guess my wife's already left. Yeah, our baby's got, I think our baby's got colic. Um, because he cries a lot when, you know, he just cries unless you're holding him. Like, for no good reason. <laughs> All right. NVMe installed. Um, so I could feel good about that. NVMe is installed. RAM's installed. CPU is installed. I'm surprised there's no, like, little cover thing that goes over the CPU here. I guess on AMD chips, it doesn't have that. Or does it? And I've maybe... No, okay, it doesn't have that. All right, I'm going to go down and take care of little baby for a bit. Um... Bring him up here, actually. And then we shall continue. So, I feel good I've done the NVMe SSD. Screw it down first. Screw it down first. Uh, thermal paste is usually pre-applied to the AIO that you have. You would think so, right? You would think so. Let me see. Oh, shit. I think thermal paste was installed. Oh, no. We'll see. If, if, it, if it was, then I'll get... I'll wipe it off with some alcohol. I've got Everclear in the, the freezer. So, 95%. Alright, guys. I'll be right back. Duty calls. Duty calls. Um... <laughs> Do I have an intermission page? Fuck, do I? Do I have an in intermission page? Um. Oh, I think the M2 is screwed down, isn't it? No. Oh, wait, hold on. The M2 needs screw down first. I thought I did. Did I not? No, I didn't, did I? Fuck. You're right, I didn't screw the M2 down. You're right. Oh my god, I almost fucked up there. Um, okay. Do I have an M2 screw? That's the question. Um, motherboard stuff. Over here. Let's see. I think this, this bag was the one with the motherboard components. Let me see. Do, 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 do. What did I do with the motherboard components? Oh, there they are. Okay. Right. Should be an M2 dot slot. Should be an M2. Click in here. But I'll do that when I come back. Hold on.
All right, I'm gonna find, gonna find that NVMe screw. I've got a million screws. I don't think it matters really, does it? Which one you use for the NVMe, as long as it fits, right? Um, I think it's the same type of screw as this. Let's see. Let me compare this one to these ones. 632 screws, 5 to 10. M3. I think it's an M3 screw, right? Okay. Imagine Blaze using the hand lotion instead of thermal paste or vice versa. <laughs> it's a super tiny one, might be installed under it. Um, It's not, surprisingly enough. Yeah, it's not installed underneath it. It's, it's got like the, the riser underneath it with like the hole, the screw hole. But I think it's one of those standard, it's, it's a standard M3 flat, right? Whatever this is. This should fit in it. I'm 90% sure this should fit in it. Um... I mean, I've, got, I've got like 50 of these little screws. I'm sure one, stealing one of them for the SSD won't, um, won't hurt too much. It's like a flat-headed one anyway, so I mean, it's, it's pretty low profile. I'm not seeing like any individual bag giving me, an S giving me a screw, so let's just go for this one, see if it works. Is this the same thickness as that? Yeah, looks like it. 
shouldn't have an issue going in here. No, this doesn't, it's not liking this, is it? I need a larger screw, larger Phillips screw head piece for this one. No, I don't even think this screw is going to go in there. This is like really tiny. Yeah, that screw is too big. So that screw ain't going to work. What's that? Eric, how's it going? Um, let me see if Best Buy has M.3, um, M.2 screws here. What's my wife's almost like arriving there? M. Best Buy doesn't have any um, any screws for for a mother for an NVMe thing, although I do probably have some screws this size. I'd have to hunt them out though. This is a bit of a dink, dick. Hexagonal screw? No. Those screws wouldn't fit. Let's try these ones. Let me see. So how the hell does that fit in here? Oh, okay, that's why that fits in there. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I do have any M.2 M screws here. I might have to just cancel this stream um, and come back later on and get some ordered off Amazon or something. Because I don't think Best Buy stocks them. That's a bit silly, isn't it? Why would a motherboard not supplying an, a basic thing like an M.2 drive screw for your SSD? <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Unless I pull one out from my Asus gaming laptop. That's probably got a spare drive, a spare in. I think it does. I think it's got a spare NVMe SSD drive. Let me see. This is gonna get a really. This is gonna get real messy. No. <sighs> Do you have any? you have any in another unit you can cabbage that's that's exactly what i'm thinking about i'm gonna have to either open up my asus g14 which i know has a spear in m2 slot and i think the motherboard under well the motherboard in my streaming pc that i'm using that i'm using to stream right now that has a couple of nvme slots that are actually not being utilized so hmm, buy buy some off amazon and wait or just open one of these things up and just steal one of the screws from them let me see
Oh, let me get on the ground here and see. Hmm. All right. Oh, I have to do this. This fucking sucks, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Is Ren me being used on your PS5? Does that use them? It probably does actually, but I don't feel like unplugging the PS5 right now. I'm gonna just... Is that my wife messaging me? It is. No Battlefield beta for Blaze. Thank you, funny moments, for rubbing it in, dude. Yes, I know. Blaze ain't gonna make the Battlefield beta anymore. Ha 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 ha. Oh, damn you. Check under the other M2 slot. Um, oh, you're right. Let me see. Before I, before I start unscrewing my um, PC, my gaming laptop here, let me just check under this M2 slot. See if there's one hiding under here. God. You know, the putting the components on the motherboard was always going to be the easiest part. For me, well, the hardest part for me was going to be was um, installing the radiator into the case. Getting that into the right position. And obviously getting the radiator... Yeah, there's no screw under there on the other M2 slot. It's funny, I saw a review on Amazon... Um, a review for the other motherboard that I had, the Asus one, and someone was like, "Oh, someone was like, oh, the the, the stupid this motherboard, mother stupid motherboard didn't even come with like M2 screws. Had to had to wait an extra day to buy them off Amazon." And I'm like, "Oh, you know what?" And they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna buy the the MSI Tomahawk motherboard." And I'm like, "You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna return this one and get the M MSI Tomahawk one too, because it probably comes with M2 screws." Only for me to buy this one, thinking this one's got the, you know, has everything you need, only to find out it doesn't. Anyway, so, that's a bit of a damn bummer. You buy something thinking, okay, this is obviously, this must be the higher quality motherboard, you know, this must, this will come with everything, it won't leave you stranded like this, but, you know, even this one's not got basic shit. Um... Uh, it's tomorrow morning. Well, there's still a chance I could do it then. Hope the real game has more multiplayer modes, smaller maps and such. Yeah, it should do. Battlefield usually has a good variety of maps. You would think so. I mean... I'm at, actually, I'm seriously at a loss here. Hmm. 
Get all these bags together again. Okay. Put this together. Um, this is like an audio cable. Put that together. Put this together. Get all these back in that one bag. Doesn't have the standoff screw right. Um, doesn't the standoff screw? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, this isn't the screw. This is just the standoff for it. No screw in there to use. So. I don't even know if this bag came. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was like the mother bag, the motherboard bag here. This is the motherboard bag. Unless this is the PC case bag. Unless this came with a PC case. I'm I need to I'm gonna need to go back and look at my videos here. Look at the stream replay to see whether this bag came with the motherboard or did it come with the the case. Okay. Let's get this um Let's put this motherboard away for a second onto this pile of paper over here. Okay. And let's un let's take this apart. This is my Asus G14 gaming laptop. And I'm hoping and praying that there's an M2 screw in here that I could use. Oh look. Make sure it's turned off first, though. I don't think it is. Yep, it's not turned off. <laughs> oh, I think I just turned it back on. Shut down. Shut down, damn it. Okay, fine. I'll force shut it down. There we go. Okay. If I ever sell this gaming laptop, the person that gets it's going to be like, Oh, there's a damn screw missing for the M2, the second M2 slot. Um, show what screws, I, well, I could show you all the screws that I've got, but they're not, you know, they'd be useless because I've already, like, the the size of them just ain't the right size for the, the, car, the SSD. These are the sort of like th these screws for the this G14 gaming laptop are actually the right thinness for the NVMe, but obviously I can't use these because I need them for my laptop shell, my laptop case. And uh, what motherboard do you have? The one in the description shows Asus, but you said it was an MSI one. You're oh sorry, yes, I have uh, the I put the wrong motherboard in. The motherboard that I have is let me see. If I could find the box. Oh, come on. Okay, so the motherboard I have is the Mag Mag X570 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so the Mag MEG X570 Tomahawk Wi-Fi um, Venom. The the one the, the one that I put in the description was actually the the first motherboard I was planning on using, but um, I ended up returning it and getting this this MSI one just because I like to look at the MSI one a little bit better, um, and also. I thought it maybe had M2 screws. Because the review, one of the review for the Asus one that I bought originally, there was a re one review from one guy, he was like, oh, it doesn't include the M2, the M2 screws. And I'm like, oh, well, that's a bit of a deal breaker. Let me return it and buy this other one. Only to find this other one doesn't have M2 <laughs> screws either. Oh. It's all right. Asus, Asus is going to save the day anyway. And... and Provide me a little extra screw from this secondary NVMe slot on my gaming laptop. Oh, come on. There. 
go there. So yeah, so if you've just joined us, I'm building a, a gaming PC, or trying to build one, that's the plan. We've I ran into a little bit of, dile of a dilemma right off from the offset because we I forgot the thermal paste. Everyone at kept asking me, have you got all the parts, have you got all the parts? And I'm like, yeah, I've got all the parts, what, what else do I need? I even went onto an article last night, and I was like, what part, what, do, what do you need for your PC build? And they're like, the CPU, the GPU, the power supply, the motherboard, the RAM, the cooler, the case, power supply, obviously, and everything. And Well, they never mentioned the thermal paste. And really, I should know. I should have known. Approving, I see, yeah. Mooncake, add thermal paste and empty screws and whiskey to the PC build checklist. <laughs> I should have done, shouldn't I? I might, I might end up having to break out the whiskey. I've, um, I've, I've been, I was actually, I'm actually on a, a, a break from alcohol because my, um, my skin's been flaring up lately because yeah, I've been drinking. So. So the plan was not to drink, but after seeing how complicated this PC is, I'm thinking I might have to break my alcohol break fast for a little bit of courage. <laughs> okay. You know what I could do is I could just use one of these little uh, casing screws for the NVMe slot because they're the right size. My G14 is just not going to have, it's just not going to have a, it's going to have a screw missing. <laughs> it's a shame because I was just in, I was just in this laptop the other day, um, giving it blown, you know, getting rid of the dust and stuff, clearing out the fans. Please tell me this has an extra NVMe slot, I'm sure it did. It doesn't... No! What am I thinking of then? Oh, it does have an NVMe slot, does it? No, that's the Wi-Fi connector. Oh, no. Okay, that's the... Yeah, I can't take that out then. Damn it. I may have to buy one on Amazon then. Unless I use one of these little casing screws. For the, the you know, my gaming laptop's case. We all got some screw missing after last. Also, we've all got some screws missing after last year, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, last year was a bit of a crapshoot, wasn't it? And this year, to be honest, it's not been no ra rainbows either. You know, this year's been a little bit of a shit show too. Wow. Okay. No, no secondary NVMe SSD slot. I'm guessing. All right. I guess this goes. This all goes back on then. Great. Great. That was pointless. Don't. <sighs> Go on. Best Buy. I already looked on Best Buy. Best Buy doesn't sell screws, NVMe screws, screws, I'd have to get them off Amazon. Um, and I could open up my streaming PC and see if that's got a spare screw, but I'm guessing the motherboard's going to be the same. It's going to, it's not going to, it's not going to have, it's not going to have one. Like I said though, I could probably get away with using this little screw here. Let me see. This is a this is a casing screw for my gaming laptop, 
but it does look the right size. So let's see here if this would work. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This works. That's going to have to do it. Okay. Well, that worked. So, the case and screw for my gaming laptop I, was actually perfect fit for the NVMe. Um, lovely. So... I'll just have to make do with that for now, and I'm going to have to go back in here at some point and replace the... I'm going to have to go back in here and take that screw out and then put uh, put the proper one in. But at least that'll get me up and going for today. The wife's already on her way back, on her way back from Best Buy, so I should have the thermal paste soon. My next challenge now is figuring out where the radiator goes on this. And obviously, once I've got that figured out, then we'll be making some good progress. Um, check the toaster and the media remote for an extra M2. <laughs> if only it was that easy, dude. Who knows, the person who lived in this house might have actually been a, a crazy, like, PC builder. Who knows? They could have had M2, um, M2 card screws lying around all over the place. We never know. So that's okay. So we've got the we've got the N2 M2 SSD in. We've got the two RAM sticks, and we've got the CPU. Now I think I'm going to turn my focus onto where to install the 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 cooler. Let me check what my wife is. Google Maps. Is she near? Oh, she's back home already. Yes. Let me go say hi to her. The best wife ever.
my wife came back. Look what we've got. We've got the thermal paste. Oh yes. So we're good to go now. Um, wife of the Year award goes to mine, I think. Is that fair? Um, yeah, Mooncake. If I do get a PC, I'll just get a pre-built. I don't, I don't blame you. I need an SSD. To build your own PC is generally satisfying. I've been building my own PCs for 20 plus years. It, oh, it is satisfying. It is. Like I says, I'm just. I need to figure out how to get this cooler and everything installed you know into the case so i'm gonna watch a few youtube videos and figure out how to um i'm gonna watch a few youtube videos and figure out how to install that cooler um youtube Okay, so yeah, the um, yeah, for the my case, I think the cooler does actually the the water cooler does actually go on the top. With you when you kiss me, it's like the stars fall out the sky onto my heart to cover up what I Oh okay. Remove the front panel. Front panel of the case comes off like that. Okay, gotcha. Let's see. Okay, the um, the front panel of the case has been removed. Looking good, looking good. Now I just need to get the top panel off it. 
Ugh. And I know how to do that now, so... Let's see. Turn that damn fan off, that fan's annoying me. Um, front panel comes off. Right, gotcha. Front panel up, comes off front ways. Okay, like that. Okay. Okay, top panels now off. Woohoo! We're cooking with gas now. We're cooking with gas. Alright. Oh, now we're talking. Now we are talking here. With this case. Oh, it might not be the end of the world after all, guys. Okay. Um, so this is where the radiator will sit. Um, and the fans will go through here, I'm guessing, and, yeah, and these, I'm guessing, must be all the cables for the, the I.O. on top of the case. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And that hole, I'm guessing, is for running, maybe running cables down. For the thing, okay.
Oh, you're kidding me. Look, guys. Look what I just found. Oh, my God, man. Um, There's me saying, oh, the motherboard never came with M2 screws. Look what I found. A bag of goddamn M2 screws. <laughs> yeah, NVMe screws. <laughs> no. Oh, kill me. I'm gonna have to take this back off again so I can and put that screw back in my back in my um, gamer laptop. Ugh. All right, the progress I've made the progress I've made, if you don't know, is I've managed to figure out how to take the top and front panels off my gaming PC case. So that's done, which is good. I know how to get in and about the sides and backs and front of the case. So that means I've got free space now to install the radiator when I need to install that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this little bag here. Take this screw out. This can go back in my gaming laptop. I think this screw was actually a little bit too long for what it was supposed to do. Hopefully I never damaged anything. Put that back here. Um, and open this little baggie here with um, the M M2 screws. At least the easiest will be whole again. Exactly. And I'd, let's be honest, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like having to I didn't feel like having to open the game, the new gaming PC back up just to get that screw back out in a couple of months or weeks, however long. Come on. But yeah, really though, if you if you've not got much patience, I wouldn't recommend building a gaming PC. I mean, yeah, I mean. Most people can. Most people can. Most people do build one. If you're short in patience, though, it might not be the best thing for you. I'm usually a pretty patient guy. It's just when I feel overwhelmed at the beginning of a project, that's when I start, you know, doubting myself. But really, I'm, chances are I'm probably going to be able to build this just fine. I just need to be patient and um, stick to it, you know? Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. Alright, M2 successfully installed with the right screw this time. Um, I'm going to put this back on and I'm going to get to building my... I'm going to get to closing up my gaming laptop again since I don't want to leave that open for any amount of time. Just to stop dust and everything getting in. Now this stream is probably going to be a long one. It's not going to ain't going to be a Linus Tech Tips 5 minute PC build. Okay. This is going to be uh, a long stream. Feel free to leave when you want to leave and pop back on and check progress. I will be. I will have to be leaving at some point today. Um, oh, by the way, um, British Computer Guy, did you, you said you had a good app, right, for watching live TV. Because um, I am going to need to buy... Um, I, I, I want to watch that um, Tyson Fury fight later today. And I'm, I really don't want to spend eighty dollars on it, man. You know, I don't want to spend eighty dollars on a fight that might last one round. So if anybody has any tips to watch that fight later today, please send me an email. Send me um an email, Twitter DM, anything with app recommendations for Android. Um, that lets you see stuff, ESPN pay-per-views or any sort of TV channel that that has the fight tonight if you could if you could um link me up to an app that I could download or a website I can use I'll message you on the PS app that'd be great man thank you I mean I don't know are you watching it too because <clears throat> I know you guys have brought up a few apps a couple of times you know and I've never followed up with you to find out what they are um, okay, moving on. So, we've got that installed, the NVMe's installed. Let's put the case back on the, the Asus gaming laptop. 
this back over here. Oh, don't scrape it against your iPad. Oh, I need to get some music going here, I think. I'll bring up, uh, I'll be up for some Warzone lol. My Sabrent pre-order just arrived today. He's thinking it's pretty so Nice, Cameron Walker. Awesome. Fury's going to destroy him. I hope Fury does. Um, you know what I like about Tyson Fury? Is I like the fact that he's... Um, I like the fact how he's um, humble. Right? He's a humble cart. Pretty damn humble. I like that about... I like that about people. He doesn't like to show off. You know? He doesn't walk around with 50 chains on and like a fucking throw... Uh, 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 what do you call it? A crown on his head all the time. And brag about how much money he's made and all that sort of shit. That's what I didn't like about Floyd Mayweather. I feel like he just brags too much, and I've never liked him. You know, he thinks he's he thinks he's everything. He thinks he's he thinks he's the fucking well. I suppose you have to have that sort of arrogance, don't you, when you're a boxer? You need to walk around like you are the best all the time and flaunt it. But I don't know I like I like a more humble person, and that's why I've always supported Tyson Fury. He's got a good personality too, and he's he's literally came from nothing. He's like he's literally was a gypsy in the UK, um, who travels a lot um, with in a caravan <laughs> with the giant heat sink that does look like an air conditioner or the one that has a replacement. Cover play ETA was November fourth. PS five. Okay. Well, I forgot the stock tracking uh, stream is down, right? It's all right. It's the weekend. There was only like five people watching it, wasn't there? There was only like five people watching, so it doesn't really need to. It's not a big deal. Um, we actually we have more people watching this this horrendous PC build stream than we did ever having than we had watching the, the stock tracker, which is funny. You're kidding, really? That would be freaking sweet. The ship right away. Welder will win today. Fury has no desire to fight today. You think? Even Drake. Hold on. Tyson Fury was posting on Twitter. Man, he posted a response to Drake. Drake was like Tyson Fury's fucking. You know, he's, he's a great character and everything. And Drake, Drake's wanting Fury to win. And Fury's like, oh, wait till I'm gonna basically. Tyson Fury's talking, talking shit, saying that he's going to win tonight. I don't see any indicator that Tyson Fury is not wanting to win this fight, because Tyson Fury wants to go on and beat Anthony, 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 Anthony Joshua um, for all the, all the, all the, the belts and shit. But Anthony Joshua doesn't have the belts anymore, does he? Because Anthony Joshua just fucking lost his fight to that that Ukrainian guy. So I don't know. Um. This is more of a laptop D build than a PC build. I know it is, isn't it? It's turning into a damn laptop D build. <laughs> it's alright. It's just my own clumsiness. I'd lost. I lost the screws that I was supposed. To, that I thought I'd had, and I found them. So this whole laptop thing was a waste of time. I should have just looked a little bit more carefully, you know. I'm glad that they did come with a bag. And the reason why I found that bag of screws for the NVMe slot was because I went back on the live stream that I'm doing right now. I like I skinned back on it and I saw that little bag lying there. I was like, where's that bag now? And I did a little bit of digging and I found it. It was under the motherboard. So, yes, PC is rebuilt again. Game and laptops rebuilt. So, I can resume with resume with the um the project. Okay. So, next up, I think on my to-do list is to build the 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 cooler, the radiator. And once that's built, then hopefully get get the motherboard in the PC. <sighs>
Does this have thermal paste to be applied? I think it does actually. Oh, it does have thermal paste to be applied. Gosh damn it. Don't worry, I'll get some alcohol, I'll rub that off. Where's the liquid in this then? Does it have liquid in it already? Blaze in the tubes on the radiator. Oh, in the tubes on the radiator. Okay, thanks. Just making sure it was pre filled. Included hardware Intel backplate. Yep, got that. LGA standoff. 2011 standoffs. Intel backplate. So we don't need the aim. Uh, we don't have the. Hold on a second here. Tell, please, for the love of God, tell me it came with the the right, the correct AMD AM4 mounted bracket. Did it come with the right brackets? It did. Woo! All right. Installing the Intel backplate. Okay. Installing the Intel standoff screws. Install the fans on the radiator. Okay. Installing the pump unit. EM4, this is how to mount it. The EM4 one, okay, cool. So, installing the AMD mounting bracket. Thanks, Cameron. Um, okay. Okay. Mounting bracket. I need to install the mounting bracket on. Okay. The AMD AM4 mounting bracket. Comes with the screw things here, okay. Alrighty. And these are all the screws and washers for this, okay.
Like a shadow racing towards the light, I pray to see you one more time. Oh, fire, never let me go. Satellites, and when I'm old and lose 
Audio test? Okay, you can hear me. Sorry, the my microphone went actually died. I was having a bit of a dilemma there with the, the heat sink brackets for this cooler, but I figured out how it's supposed to go. And I've ended up it did end up having pre-applied thermal paste on it already on it. So I kinda fucked up by putting my I kinda fucked it up and touched it with my gloves and got it all over my hands. So I'm gonna have to get that off. But I've got an alcohol wipe, I think, in here somewhere. Oh. Alcohol pad, yes. 70% isopropyl alcohol. Um, tastes good. Thanks, man.
Here we go. How's it going? So, got that. Let's get the isopropyl tag out. Wipe that demo paste off of it. Off my little cooler thing here. Let's be applying my own demo paste. When you get done with the stream, I sing indeed. Oh, I saw that British computer guy. Thanks. I responded to you, but my um my head my head my microphone had died, so you probably never heard me. But I I got the I saw you sent me the link. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'll get I'll get on that in a little bit. I can't what I was saying is I can't believe I've been streaming for two hours so far and I've not done jack shit really. I've put the RAM in, NVMe SSD, the CPU in, but I've not got anything installed into the case yet <laughs> what am I like um so Blaze was clean shaven when the stream began I know I'm gonna have a big massive like a a five I'm gonna have like a ten inch beard by the time I'm done with this stream it's been two hours and I've not done nothing I've not even installed the, the, the power supply I mean the case in the motherboard in yet but you know that's just it's just life, isn't it? I might not get this done today, but at least I'm going to give it a bash. But I've taken, I've managed to find out how to take off all the panels on the the the, the case, the top panel and front panel, so and the back panel, obviously. So the the case is like a shell, empty shell right now. So I've just got to build the the radiator now, I think, and I'm about to get that done shortly. It's just gonna be fun. Uh, okay. I've installed the mountain bracket. Now I need to um Now I need to get these bad these little bad boys here. I definitely don't want to tip this whole bag of screws and stuff out. That would be a little bit of a mess. Come on. I just need you. I just need you, fat boy. Come on. There we go. Out you come. Bad boy. Okay. I just realized I probably, I, I think I put this bracket upside down. I have. Just put it back on the right way. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. And then this goes on the top, and this goes on the bottom. On the bottom. Kill me, please. Kill me, please. Kill me, please. Pretty, please, kill me. Congratulations. Oh, Roach, thanks, man. I don't know who you're saying congratulations to because there's, n there's, n there's been nothing on this stream that's been that's called for congratulations. If anything, you should be saying rest in peace. Or... 
or even better god bless you i'll need it i don't even know what i'm supposed to be doing here but i'm following the ikea instructions uh okay But yeah, PC building is really fulfilling once you've built it. Um, but when you're going into it after not having built anything for like 10 years, and all the parts are new, everything's a little bit more complicated. It can be really stressful. I'm hopping off stream for a bit. I can help any message me. I built a few PCs, but not a gaming rig, so I don't know how much help I could be. I have my phone with me. Thank you. Yeah. Feel free to leave, guys. I just wanted this to be on YouTube for not, you know, basically so I can go back if I if I fuck up with anything and like know what I fucked up with. I've already the streams already helped me so far, and plus people, you know, people want to be able to when I when I tell them I've got a new gaming PC, it'd be kind of cool to go back and like see it, you know, get built. But yeah, pop off anyone if you want to. You don't need to be here. Um. Okay, so I've got that done. Now I've got to install Z Radio. Okay. Attach the radio using the for the base cooling performance. We recommend mounting the fans as an air intake to your PC case. All right. So let's get these fans installed. case rather than like this and then obviously you go to fit it and 
probably worth noting at this point, when you're going to install your AIO, there is various different places you can install it. Personally, I either install it on the front uh, to pull air in or on the top to push it out. Um, and also, in terms of where you want to push and pull, generally speaking, not in all cases, um, the back is an exhaust, so if you do put a fan on the back, then it will exhaust air out. Air out. It's the same for the top, the top will exhaust air out. Air out. Pull, pull air in, and then if you do have the option, on some cases, the bottom will also pull air in, and then sometimes you have side panels uh, with fans in. It really depends on the case by case basis, but generally speaking, you've got the front, the top, and the back. So the back and the top exhaust. Because we're using the 5000X, this already comes with three Corsair RTD fans at the front, which are again are pulling air in. So we're going to leave them there on this build. What we're going to do is instead put the AIO on the top here, which will exhaust air out. So as the air rises, obviously the fresh air, the clean air comes in, um, and as the hot air rises, this will help basically extract the air and the radiator being at the top. Whilst the fans are pushing the air through, will help to pull down uh, the AIO itself. Um, so yeah, okay, so first off, what I typically start with, um, and to be honest, there's a few ways you can do this. You've got a few different stages to put in an AIO into a PC build. One stage is obviously actually part of um, the one itself. That's kind of like one stage. The other stage obviously is adding the fans to the actual radiator itself. Typically I do this first. And then the last stage, or one of the last stages, is obviously actually screwing the radiator into place on the actual PC. Then you've obviously got the actual cable management and all of that stuff that we're going for. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get started by putting the fans in the video. When you're going to basically, when you've decided where your fans are going, where you're going, where you're going and stuff, one thing you probably want to take into account, which many, many, many times I've, I've just forgot, and then that's all again, is how it can be placed and where the cable is going to go. What you don't want really is it to be like this, and then these cables to be at the front here, so you want the cables to be tucked around the back, so basically we want it, so if you're putting this like this, then we want the fans with the cables at the back, so then we can put them through the grommets at the top, and then hide them on the, the back side. Okay. Oh. Let's see here. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Oh, okay. So, all right. So, we want this to come down here. Mm -hmm. And we want this to. There's my bag of screws here for the cooler. Yep. Looking good, looking good. Yep, looking good. Alrighty. Alright.
Fly me to the moon. Do, 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 do. Oh, shit. Probably do timestamps as well for this stream. So if anyone's coming back to see how I man how I feared building this thing, they could they've got all the the right correct you know bits to go to in the video. You could just click click the comment, click the timestamps. Okay. Looking good, looking good. I was telling my wife the other day, I says, you know, that whole, the whole 50s and 60s music scene, or 70s music scene, well, I think it was like 50s and 60s, right? You know, fascinates me, and I'd always love to. I'd love to um, go back to the fifties one day, and you know, be sitting there with a nice little suit inside a nice little bar, listening to somebody sing. Um, have a cigar in one hand, a glass of whiskey in another. You know, like just, I just love what life looked like back in the fifties, fifties and sixties, and it was just everything was so much more classy back then. You know. Classy, traditional, traditional. Everyone was easy going. You know, you went to church on a Sunday, that sort of thing. I wouldn't mind going back then. I mean, we'll we'll just overlook the the horrible racism and stuff that happened, was <laughs> of course. But like, in terms of just the whole um, no feel and sound of the 80s and stuff and old classic vinyl players i just like it all the music's relax hell yeah it's relaxing um i've been trying to play a little bit of mozart i know mozart's really classical classical but i've been playing a little bit of mozart classical music every now and then for a kid or a little girl to help her brain develop there's been some good studies actually on on listening to specific Mozart songs um, for brain development, so that's always good. Plus, it's relaxing. Yeah, Michael. Actually, I was thinking about that. What do you say about buying a a Western Digital Black or a Samsung 850 850 Pro? without the heatsink for the PS5 because the right now the Western Digital Black 2 terabytes with the heatsink installed are like really hard to get your hands on I think right now and um I'm wondering if I should maybe just go the heatsink list route and then install a heatsink manually and like I just saw you say there you said installing a heatsink is a piece of cake so might might go that route because I'm starting to get teacher beat me over another piano. You know, with my piano skills, Mark, my piano skills are, skills are coming along pretty nicely, actually. So who knows? I might be playing Beethoven, Beethoven, or Beethoven, Beethoven, Beethoven sooner than you would think. Um, this cooler is coming along quite nicely, I must say. It's come along rather nicely. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, no, it's okay. Whew. I thought I'd installed, it. installed the thingies the wrong way around. Fly me to the moon. And play among the stars. Dee 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 dee. A Jupiter Mars In other words Oh man The Western Digital 2 terabyte without the heat sink is available Um on Best Buy right now. Um how much is it? Is it like three seventy? 
I mean, it's not something I wanted to say like right this second, but I do. I was wondering, like, rather than wait or pay scalper prices for the Western Digital with a heatsink, maybe I'm just maybe it's just better to faster just to get the one without the heatsink and then just install it myself. Yeah, I might just do that, then, dude. I might just do that. I might just go ahead and do that. It's so. It was so. I was so tempted to buy a, a Gen Four NVMe SSD for for my gaming PC build, but I'm like, you know, I'm sure like a Gen Three is more than sufficient for gaming on PC. I think. Plus, I'm going to be using that four terabyte hard drive for most of my game storage. The only reason. I figured I'd save some money on the SSD here, and obviously spend the big, the big bucks on getting the Gen 4 for the PS5 if I get that at some point. Okay, Radiator fans installed, lovely, lovely, looking good, looking good. Let's see what um, did, oh they do okay they do have screws here for installing on the other side of that. Okay. So, I wonder if I should install. Do you install the power supply first? Let me see. It's on sale for three six. Are you kidding me? Gosh, damn it. Let me check by a spiral fast park. Um. Okay. Uh. NVMe 2 terabyte. I'd love to get like a 4 terabyte for the PS5, actually. Oh, oh, 970, 329. This, the Samsung 980 Pro, 2TB, 429 right now. What about the West Digital? West Digital Black, SN850, 2TB, 359. Ooh, damn it. Get it in seven days. Hmm. Damn it, do I do that? Or do I need it? Do I need it right now? Oh, I hate being... You know what? I could just wait till Black Friday. You think there's going to be a Black Friday sale on them? Even greater than this. Mm -hmm. Lowest price of the year. Oh, why does it have to happen now? All right, I'm not going to... I've just spent so much on this damn PC. I can't do it. I don't think I can do it. Oh, damn it. Install the pump unit. Um, okay. Yeah, righty then. Um, I think it's probably time to put the PC, the motherboard in the PC. Should I put the power supply in first? What's the... When do you put the PSU in PC build? Let's go on YouTube and see a H7 10 case build. H710 I build. Let's see what these people do. Ryzen 9 3900 build, sure. Let's see, did they put the power supply in first or did they put it in afterwards? Okay, this guy, this guy's setup looks very similar to mine. This might be pretty good here.
PC builds got you like that, dude. Imagine what the PC PC builds got me like. PC builds got me stressing the hell out right now. Intel retention, no AMD. Okay. It's Intel. Ah. PSU's first where I start. Um, if you know which cables you need, it's easier to wait if you aren't sure. Yeah, I don't know what cables I'm going to need just yet. I'm gonna back. Okay, well let's get the let's get the PC case, I guess, on the table on the desk first. I could get the motherboard in first, to be honest. The guy in the video that I was watching, he's got a very similar setup to mine. I might just go ahead and get the mobile in. That way, it's in and it's secure and it's safe, you know. Um, what was this for? This is for the. 
Miss card we have for the H150, yes. Put that over there too. With the other screws and bolts. Okay. I'm guessing this was for the case. Right. I'm guessing there is no like standoffs or anything, right? Like for this case. I thought there was like a some bolts that you had to screw down to keep the motherboard from like touching the case. I'm not seeing any. The, the, like the diagram on the motherboard on the case here is just like slap the motherboard in. And you know, just slap the mother. It's telling me to slap the motherboard in with, the, with screws. And just screw it into the, the case. So I guess I shall do that. Okay. Put this case over here. It's junk. Ah, right. Okay. I did lose a screw actually when I was taking my motherboard case off there. I need to find that. Ugh. That's what I hate about this carpet, dude. This carpet is such a pain in the ass. They should make it illegal to install I, you know, thick carpet in a home these days. Fly me to heaven, cause I wanna give up on this build. Great, the screws just vanished off the face of the earth. Lovely. That's exactly what I want. God. There should be standoffs, um pre-installed or in a bag let me have a look let me install the, the 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 case onto the desk and see okay oh come on you big bugger there you go you go around that side uh. Yes, the standoffs are pre-installed, I think. I think they are. Let me um Let me just double check with you first. <laughs> Would you say these are these are the standoffs, yeah? These things. Is that a standoff? Looks like one, doesn't it? One there, one there, one all around here. There's not, there's not going to be a standoff on top of that, is there? Unless those aren't standoffs, unless those are just like the... Because I can't, I don't think I could turn this. Let me see what you're seeing in the chat room. Um, Tasman says, yup, so those are the standoffs. Let's get two, Cameron, can you confirm as well? Let's start and get two confirmations. I didn't, just in case Tasman's talking about something else. 
Are these the standoffs? I'll go I'll go with that being a yes then. Uh-huh. Alright. Cameroon, you leave me in my moment in need, dude. <laughs> Kill me. Why has this happened to me? Yes, that's them. Oh thank god, okay. So it should just be a case of um should be just a case of like um screwing the motherboard in, right? Whew. Oh no. Thanks thanks for confirming, guys. I really appreciate it. You know, this is this is a stressful th build so far. Um okay. So let me just put this up here for the time being. Let's see if I can get the motherboard in then. Um Let's just take all these covers off, I guess. Oh, I don't need to get those covers off now, do I? I could put them in later. Alright, let's... Okay, it looks like I should be able to just install the motherboard... Or the power supply, sorry, inside the back there. Irrelevant of the motherboard, so the power supply should go in fine. Alright, let's go do this, this part now. So this, I'm guessing, I could put... In here. Let's line this up nicely. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. No. Line that up. There we go. Lined up. Okay. Uh huh. Alright. I think that's in there. Okay. Yep. Alright, it's sitting in. Is it hovering over all the right screw holes? I think so. Right. Actually, I wonder if the face plate comes off of the IO, like the the IO shield, if that needs to come off and go on the other side. It almost looks like it's it almost looks like it's meant to go. It's meant to stay on from the get go. So I might be fine. I think I'm fine. Yeah, some light. Gotcha. Let's see if I can get some light here. Oh, I think I could turn the flash on using the the phone app. Bear with me. Um, let's see if I could turn the flash on. Why camera settings? Flash level. Here we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. No flash, flash. In zoom, let's zoom in here. So I'm trying to get this motherboard situated in here. Gonna strip if you can't see. You're squeezing the SSDs. You're, you're squeezing the SSDs. As the the RAM sticks. You mean? Back. Sorry. I know. Well. I'm not experienced, so sometimes cringe things happen. Okay. Yes, it looks like the IO shield stays on. Okay. Fine. And I'm guessing these screws stand off. Okay, it give it gives me an extra standoff. I see. So yeah, those the standoffs are pre-applied. Okay. Right, what screws does it say I need to use to screw down the motherboard? 
because I'm guessing the case uses its own screws. Cable tie. What do you feel? You feel like doing it one more time. I know you think of me, but you really gotta go. Cause yeah. I'm not here. I can lose control. I, I, I lose control. I, I can lose control. If, 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 if you're not here, I can lose control. Be, yep. Okay, those are the 632 by 5s. Those ones. 632. Yes. Alright. Screw flat or hexagon? Hexagonal. Let me double check here. Yeah, those are just the standard 685s. Let's so get 682s, I mean. It'd be 682, yes. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Time to get screwing this in. Four of these. Okay, five by ten, okay. How's the build? Funny moments. The build's going a little bit better now. We're making some progress. Got the motherboard installed, I believe, and now I've just got to screw in the motherboard so it's secured into the case. Standoffs, thank God, were pre-applied, so I didn't need to worry about installing standoffs in the case. That makes my life easier. Looking good, looking good. Let's get all these screws in here. Um, hopefully, I don't lose any of these screws in the process this fly me okay one screw in Screws on that case should be short button, button top screws. Oh yeah, it's it's okay. I think I found the I found the screws. I looked at the manual and it tells you what each screw bag is and it assigns a letter to it. And it says the the these ones are the ones for the motherboard. And they do appear to fit, so I shall go with that. For now. There we go. Lovely. We're finally making some progress here. Hopefully this PC build goes okay. Um, mm -hmm. Looking good, looking good. Flat me to the moon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One, two, oh, there's a, there's a standoff screw here. Get that in. Oh yeah, the case does indeed fit the, um, the motherboard does fit the case quite nicely, thankfully. Everything's lined up as it should do. Looking good, looking good. Thanks so much. I really, like, I cannot thank everyone enough. You know, um, Cameron, kool-aid tasman just for the help you know you don't have to be here but it's nice that you have been here as long as you have been just to you know just to just to help and just to you know give any tips and stuff whilst you're here 
you know, uh, you're it's invaluable. I really appreciate it. Because every everything helps here. I.O. Shield. Let me see. I'm trying to see if I should have took that I.O. Shield off. Or if it's just it stays on. Because in the past, I've always had to take the I.O. Shield off. And then apply it on the outside of the case. It's looking like, looking like the IO shield doesn't need to be taken off, put on the outside of the case here. That's fine, it makes my job easier. Um, I'll be here for a while longer, so happy to help if you need professional device. Best of luck, sir. Thank you so much, Cameron. That mobile has a built-in IO shield. Awesome, thanks. Yeah, I mean, it, it seemed like it, it seemed like it wouldn't, it wasn't supposed to come off. Usually, they would include a IO shield separately, right? If it wasn't pre-built on. Well, that's that's good because I was I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to take this off now if it does need one. But that's good. Thanks for confirming, Cameron. I'm gonna be so proud of myself if I managed if I managed to build this. You know, build this securely. Bunch of awesome people. All right, we're going. I think we could just have one more screw to put in. I think. Oh no, two more. that screw in there in that corner and I just need to get one more screw out of the bag and put it in here this could be the last screw I think on the motherboard looks like it I'm not seeing any more screw slots one one two three four five Six, seven, eight, eight. Uh, okay, looking good. Let me just confirm with the manual. We need to stop we, we, driving over this manual. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, one, two, yeah. Three. Yeah, the one in the guide has one more hole than mine has. Mine doesn't have that hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think I've done it. Yes, motherboard's installed. Oh, feels good. Feels good, man. Motherboard CPU is all installed. Oh yes. Now, what I want to do is do what this guy did. Okay, so he installed that that um, fan back on afterwards, righty. All right, let's do that then, I guess. Um, where did this go back on? Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. That went in there fine. Put this back on. Okay, 
ain't going like this anymore. I'm done with the games, we're playing. I'm over it. Yeah, I gotta let you go. I need to find the. There's a lost screw for this um, fan here. I need to find that. Don't know what I've done with it. I think it fell off when I was unscrewing it, and now I have to go find it again. Okay. Three should do. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? Put it at the top here, actually. Probably more valuable to have it on this one. Okay. The fan's installed. Uh, Marky Mark, that screw is two inches deep in your shag carpet. R.I.P. screw. <laughs> I know, you took a break from the notepad to join us. <laughs> yeah, I gotta let you Look at that, motherboard is successfully installed securely. Oh, it feels like, it feels good, let me tell you. Let me see, I need to feed this over here. There we go. Feed that cable back under there where it belonged. Yeah, the mother, yeah, the notepad no longer exists for the time being because the stock tracking stream is down. But the stock tracking stream will come back up obviously later today once I get this a bit closer to being built. Um, okay, a bunch of cables down here. I wonder if all these cables in the back of the case are cables like for the, all the SATA drives and stuff to save you from using your own. Probably. Um, what do I want to install now? Do I want to install the power supply now or do I want to install the radiator now? Decisions, decisions. Motherboard, let's go. Um, Okay, so as you can see, PC motherboard is installed. I reinstalled the fan in the back here. Um, it's got a bunch of fans on the front of the case. Next up, I should install maybe the radiator or the power supply. I'm gonna refer back to this video that I was with a guy that I'm watching because he's used. He has the exact same case as mine, and every case can sometimes be different. So. Let me just see what order he does things. So he installs the radiator and the cooler. Oh no, he doesn't. He installs the PSU first. All right. Okay, let's get the power supply open then. Let's get that big old chunky power supply opened up so I can get that bad boy put in. Corsair RM850X. Oh. Squid Game. I'm hoping, I really hope that they, um, they do another season of Squid Game. They have to, right? They're gonna, they're gonna. They're gonna. Oh, well, even if I don't get to play the Battlefield beta on this tonight, you know, if I don't, I don't. Not the end of the world. I could always just play it when it comes out next month, like everyone else. Oh. This thing's probably going to have a shitload of Windows drivers and whatnot to install anyway. Who knows? Uh, okay. 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 
Let's see. What are you guys saying? Good Glitch God Gamer flashbacks. <laughs> hey, come on. I wasn't that. That wasn't that bad, was it? Opening that up. Put the PC and the motherboard down here in the carpet. The carpeto. And, um. Good. Look inside the power supply box. What have we got in? What goodies do we have in here, I wonder? Hmm. Mm, that's some MSI motherboard instructions and these are screws I believe for the motherboard I'll put these over there oh no sorry these are the case screws I believe all right well I'll put them over here nonetheless um, what's that again those are some like SAT cables and Wi-Fi antennas okay so we have the oh, are we zoomed in too much? Oh, we are zoomed in. So we have cable ties. Oh, look at this big chunky manual for the power supply. Important information. Nah, we don't need that. There we some. Mm, do not eat. Desiccant. Mm, I know what I'm having for dinner now. That's the big chunky power cable. Oh, here's all the bag with the, the power. I'm so glad I got a modular power supply. Let me see, does this guy not have a modular power supply? Yeah, I don't think he has a modular one. Let's see. Yeah, it's hard to tell if he's got a modular one or just one with, I think he doesn't have a modular one. That's probably why he's feeding all the cables in through first. All right, power supply. Yeah, it's pretty small, isn't it, for an 850 watt? I guess the 1100 or 1200 watt power supplies are probably a lot bigger or longer. Okay. So this is where everybody is. It is Zenzil. Welcome back. 24 hour tracker PC build. Yeah, this is the new 24 hour tracker PC build. Basically, I had to. I, I did something stupid at the start of the stream. <laughs> I thought I started the stream, or I was about to start the stream, and then I'm like, oh, I forgot. the um, I left my brand new graphics card inside the stream PC along with the new RAM, and I'm like, I need to, I need, I need those, I need to take those components out so I could um, install them on the motherboard during the during the the PC build stream. So I was like, shit, I need to delay the stream for a little bit. And uh, basically, the stock tracker got shut down when I was restarting the PC to to remove those parts. Um, all right, let's get some of these cables installed, maybe, huh? See what's what. So this is a lot of power supply cables. Gosh almighty! So this is the motherboard power supply, I think. Yeah, it looks like the big motherboard, the one that powers the motherboard. So I shall install this first, I think. Yeah, the SATA power cable's there too. Okay. It's usually easier to pre-install the PSU cables and then feed them through the case. Yeah, that's 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 what I'll probably do. You're right, Cameron. That shall be the plan, I think. So now, Mr. Cameron. Hold on a second here. The 24... I'm guessing... I'm guessing this whole cable here is the one that's to go on the motherboard. But I've got two of these, and I'm guessing the 24-pin ATX. Yeah. Okay. Let me just double-check. Yeah, okay, these are the same. It's just I need to put them like this, I think. That's fine, okay. So, in you go. Okay. Ugh, come on. Ugh. Come on. Okay. And this one, I'd imagine, will go here. There we go. So, this is the motherboard. I need 
six plus two PCI peripheral and SATA cables. All right. Well, I'm sitting. Let me let me see what power components on the motherboard do I need. Is that the CPU? Um, okay. Mm, it's probably this is where you probably read the motherboard manual, right? See what everything. Damn place, even wearing gloves. I've never done that build. I've never done that building a PC, but less chance of static, I guess. Yep, yeah, you're probably right. Top left of the mobile will be for the CPU. Oh, okay, I saw. I just saw that one. Yeah, that's for the CPU. There should be a four by two or four by four in that mobile. Yes. Let me put the case back on the desk. Yeah, because I'm probably going to be installing the power supply soon, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That power supply come with the, the screws to install the power supply into the case. I think it did, didn't it? Yeah, I think it did. It came with three screws. Hmm. How's it going? It's going better than it was before. Um, basically, I've installed the motherboard now. The motherboard has been installed onto the standoffs. Um, Good, big props to everyone, like Cameron and every everyone in, in the chat room, Tasman, for for correcting me earlier. You know, it's <laughs> I feel I feel like it's like a community effort at this point building this PC. It's um it's moving. I'll say that much. Um. Okay. So let's see. Nope, oh, fuck, what did I do? Unclip that. Okay, so let's zoom in here real fast. So this, I'm guessing, is the... If you could see that, can you see that? Let's see, yeah. This looks like the the power adapter for the thing, right? Go here and remove this. So that I'm guessing oh that probably that's the CPU power connector there, right? Um and that'll be the motherboard one. For the motherboard the twenty four pin one. And I'm thinking that looks like the only two connectors on the motherboard, right? For the for the um, for powering the motherboard and the CPU. So there's something down there, but I think that's for like the I/O on the the case, right? Okay. Okay, let's put this back up. So we've confirmed that. Okay, lovely. Awesome, Cameron, you are a lifesaver. Cameron's basically built this PC for me today, guys. Let's be honest. <laughs> uh, I'll probably take that off later, right? That little sticker. Um, okay, so we need pins for the CPU now, right? Um, the four, okay. That CPU pin thing looks a little bit weird it's like a four it's like a four by four power adapter and then it's got a two by two next to it so let's see what would that be for this need to find the right cable here oh they're they're numbered those are pci power um cables 
These ones are PCI as well. Hopefully the motherboard one's in here somewhere. These are SATA, I think, right? Okay. Yeah. CPU. Yes! Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, hold on a second. Why? Wait. This is a CPU. It's 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 a four on one side, four by four and one, uh, four by two on one side, and four by two on the other side. What's this? That's probably another SATA cable. Okay. And then we just need a, a two by two power thing to, to finish off that CPU. But I'm not seeing one here. Hopefully it's in here. I've got a three by two. No! I'm confused. There will be multiple CPU cables. Oh no. Please tell me. Please tell me this motherboard doesn't like have some some sort of proprietary thing. PCIe. 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 No, PCIe. These are SATA. Oh, is that a 2 byte No, it's not. Uh, SATA. Oh, God help me. I don't think I've got one for this. PCIe. Nope. PCIe, PCIe, god damn it. CPU, oh, here we go. Oh, great. The other, okay, there are multiple CPU cables, but they're all 4x2. There's none. Wait, hold on. Yes! Got it. Woo! Okay. But you can see this. Um, there was one that, there was one that, like, split into two like that, so I'm guessing for the 4x2 one, oh, they're all, they all split like that, so I'm guessing I'll use two cables, I'll have one in the 2x4 configuration for the, the 2x4, and have another cable with just, like, just one broke it up, right, and then just have a 2x2 two two just floating there, I guess, not doing nothing. Alright, that's fine. Let me get this connected to the 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 power supply. Oh, I love you guys. Correct. You can zip tie the extra. Thank you. Oh my god, dude. You're a goddamn lifesaver. There's me panicking. The, the, like, I'd, the, I'd got some, I'd, I got a mismatch power supply or something. Kool Aid. I need the orange t shirt, dude. The head bone connects to the neck bone. <laughs> oh, I love, I love this amazing community. Um, absolute lifesavers. Lifesavers. Six by two, right? Put that over here. Uh huh. Yep. I think that goes in there, does it? Let's see. Uh huh. Okay, it does. Put you in here. The cable, I don't think my cable management on this PC is going to be very good. It's going to be a little bit of a mess, I could already tell. They've got, I mean, this case is supposed to be one of the better cases for, like, cable management. But we'll see if, we'll see if that holds true when I, when I put it together. Oh, 
Okay. So we've got the the motherboard power and the the CPU power cables attached. Now I've only got one. I've got. I'm gonna have the NVMe SSD doesn't need power, does it? So um, it gets all the power from the motherboard. So I'm only, and I've only got one SATA drive, 7200 RPM SATA drive. So I'm guessing I should be fine just popping one of these cables in here, and also having plugging in the, the PCI Express cables for the power, for the GPU. I should need to. I shouldn't. Sh really shouldn't need to put too many. Uh, really shouldn't put, need to put too many um, cables in the power supply. Um, so this is what's this? The, the SATA. So peripheral and SATA. I'll put you here. Okay. You can always put a bunch of cables, some extra ones I don't need in, right? That way, I'm not lost. That way I don't run out or nothing. Um, that requires two of those cables. Okay, so this... Okay, that's PCI Express. Uh, mid towers are more convenient for most people, yeah. Nice and roomy. You think so? It seems nice and roomy, the case. I was going to go with a H510, the same one as my streaming PC, but when I put the 3080 Ti in there, like the CPU, it, it just like it wasn't handling the, the CPU very well. Like the CPU was cranking up to like 95 degrees Celsius for a desktop CPU. That's a little bit too much. So, and I know this case isn't known for like having awesome airflow, but it's got to be better than the one I the one I had. So let's see. Do, 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 do. All right. Yep. Looking good. Looking good. This will be for the the graphics card. I'm guessing. Um, PCIe 4x4 CPU. Yep. Okay. Lovely. In you go. That's the graphics card. Graphics card cable in there. Okay. Sweet. Do I have easy? I wonder if I've got easy. Have I got easy access for cable? For cables. I think I do actually. Should be able to just add some extra cables later on if I really needed to, you know. Okay. Peripherals and SATA. SATA. Okay. Um. The water cooler. I know that needed its own cooling. I guess does the work? I wonder if the water cooler gets cooled by the motherboard then. I mean, does the, does the, I wonder if the water cooler draws its power from the motherboard exclusively. Hmm. Wonder if I should get some extra SATA cables in here. Or if that'll be enough, that might just be enough there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Peripheral and SATA. Let's see some of these extra cables just in case. Yeah. Yeah, these fans need. Okay. Let's see where this case. Heaven just knows what it was. Will I go back to the place where I belong? Everyone could break my heart. But I try my best to not fall apart And I find it hard to let go Where does this run down to? This one's down to here Okay Do we have per Where does this plug into? This can't plug into the motherboard, does it? Oh, it does plug into the motherboard, I think 
USB 4. Yeah, you don't see this many cables in a PS5, I know. They've got this big extra part too. Like, these I'm guessing are all like the, you know, the, the case fans, power, the case fan power cables, the oh, case fan power cables, and all that. Man. Front panel, okay. HD audio, okay. Let's just un let's just un take this bag off actually and just see what I'm what I'm working with here. There's a, there's a hell of a lot of damn cables here, man. Like jeez. Now these I'm guessing are to go on the motherboard, right? A lot of these. I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing where like all these I'm just mounting the cables at the back here it's supposed to um. These are supposed to like connect to in terms of the power supply. So this is the back of the the, the case, right? Here is the oh, the lens of the wipe. So you've got the on but the front, the top aisle. You've got the top stuff here I'm guessing they all get run down into here and we've got all these cables which I think actually power the 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 front fans these so and where do these go to it's just like a mountain of these cables here where do these plug into that's what I want to know because these sure as hell don't plug into the power supply Um, oh, unless these go into the motherboard, do they? There's not enough length for them to go around into the motherboard, though. That's the thing. No. Those are SAT cable ports on the motherboard. Got a USB. Hmm. Hmm. Those are fan cables, yeah. Um, I'm trying to figure out though, like what the fan cables are supposed to connect to though, you know? Do they connect to the motherboard or do they connect to the P uh, the power supply? I'm not seeing any power supply cables here that 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 look like they would they would um That looks like it, a SATA cable would go in there. Okay. For power. Mm. No. Hmm. Hmm. This is another part of the, like where it gets tricky. The case has a built-in fan controller. Oh, it does. I think it does. There's a there's like a little box up here that a bunch of the fans are like connected to. But I don't think there's any more slots for them, you know, for those things to go into on the fan controller. Let me see what this guy does here. Go back to that guy's video. 
he puts the powers of supply in. Let me do the, let me, before I get stressed out with all these fan cables here, let me get the power supply slotted in. Uh, okay. Because I don't want to sit spend like time sitting here like clueless when I could be doing something. Okay. Blaze, for the first thing you should look hook up before anything else to the motherboard is your front power buttons and the fans next. Right. Roger that. But Hmm. 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 Well, there's no harm. I don't think there's any penalty to putting the power supply in first. Or right now. Oh, let me do that. Let me get this mess of cables here. Um, right cam. What way does this go in? Um, I think it goes in this way, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Does it? Yeah. Let's see, what, what way does he have his? He has his with a fan on the bottom, does he? Let's see. Yeah, his fan is on the bottom, so is it supposed to draw in the air from the bottom into the fan? I think it does. Okay. Cool. Okay, put this big mess of cables through here. But I think this panel on the back needs to come off, doesn't it? Where's my screwdriver? Other view, it looks small. Oh, Jordan, the nugget. How's it going, dude? You don't have to use it. Okay. The fan I don't have to use the fan controller. Oh, yeah, I think the fan controller controls the RGB, right? I'd, but I want to make sure the fans turn on, obviously. That's the main thing. How tall is that case? No idea, dude. Taller than the H... Uh, search for like H710 case dimensions and you'll, you'll it should you should find them. Um, it's longer than the H510. I know that much. And like I said, the reason I got the bigger one is because I'm putting a 38. You know, I'm putting a pretty beefy power S CPU in this thing, and I've got the 3080 Ti. So it's you know there's going to be a lot of heat, and it probably needs that extra airflow. I think. It's very tall. I'm coming for the throne. Too damn tall this game. Well it's actually not it's not too tall. It's actually it's to be honest, it's fine. Um what kind of looking shit? Should I maybe have put the radiator No 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 it's fine. The radiator slots in at the top, I think. Okay. Put that here, okay, and then I can slot in the power supply. Come on, big bun bundle of cables. Through you go, through you go, in the back. What time is it? It's 3.52, fuck. Okay. Oh, hey, we're going in, we're going in, like, it's going in! Oh, 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 oh. Mm. It's not going in. <laughs> oh, it is going in. It is going in. It's just not locking in nowhere, you know? Hmm. Unless it's supposed to go through, unless I was supposed to leave that panel on. Uh, was I? 
the panel supposed to stay on? The screws. Like the CPU is just, I mean, the power supply is just floating here and here. It's like it's just loosely, it's just like floating around. We use those PS, uh, P, the three PSU screws, but there's like four screws, I think. Is there? Yeah, there's like four screws at each corner of the power supply. One, two, three, four. But I think it only gave me three, right? I guess we'll see. You bolt the bracket to the P Oh, you bolt the bracket to the PSU. Well, the PSU is slightly protruded from the case, Cameron. Thank you. Okay. Gotcha. Well, let's protrude. Let's take the bracket out. Can you see it? Okay. Now, I'm forgetting what, what way this... <laughs> did the bracket, bracket go in that way, or...? Let's see. Install with the, install the PSU with the fan facing down. Okay. Unless it did come with four screws. It probably did come with four screws then. Okay. Mm, right. You only use three, okay. On the on the on the damn on the case, oh, it was it shows you four for some reason. Oh, it shows you four probably because it's it's probably talking about these these big ones, right? Yeah, okay. Um, sweet, thank you, sir. Oh no, there's hold on, there's four screws. There is four for PSU. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there's four screws in there. Sweet. Just when I think, oh no, what do I do now? We're at, we've hit a, we've hit a wall, you know. Um, Cameron comes in and clears it up for me. They aren't always the same, <laughs> as it depends on the PSU format. Gotcha. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I thought there was three at first, right? But no, there is. Turns out I think there is four. Okay, let me use my phone torch here. Make sure I get these screw holes in the right. Oh, wait, hold on. No, you can be right. It could be just three. No. No, there is four. But they're in like the. The, the two on the left are like. They're not parallel to each other. You could be right. It could just be three. I guess the. Yeah, okay. I'll just go with the three then. Okay. Ah, oh, why did I do this to myself? No stick up the way. Gotcha, right. Okay, sweet. Okay, cool. We got it then. You think we use four for each corner, but they just don't work that way for some reason, right? 
So we went from we went from there being only three screws to there not actually being three screws, four screws, but the motherboard, the PSU only has has the screw holes in like the weirdest directions. So okay. Oh god dude. This is nerve wracking. Hey hold on, why is the power supply not um like the power supply is skinnier than the damn thing? Have I got it upside down maybe? Or maybe got it upside down, let me see. Do I? Yeah, because that ain't gonna line up, is it? No, okay. Maybe I got it the wrong way. Okay, let's go back. Let's try this again. Okay, that's okay. That works. I had it the wrong way. Oh, there is a there is a screw hole for the fourth screw. I think there is. There is. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I don't know if you could see. See that little bracket there thing. That I was, I was looking. I was expect. I was, for some reason, I was thinking that's that was a screw hole that went into the PSU. It wasn't. It's this one here, and then it's this. That that is off off axis a little bit. So that makes sense. Okay, so there is going to be four four. I think. Oh good. We're okay though. Okay, I should have maybe just. I should have maybe. Should have maybe put this on before I got there. Before um, oh, before I um, slid it into the case. The guy in the video obviously applied this to the power supply before he slid it into the case, but he never told me. So I'm just gonna have to live and learn here. Okay. There you go and you go and you go. Yes, yeah, that's it. Oh yes, beautiful. I was still an old bastard. Yeah. I'm an old bastard too. Oh, I'm thirsty as hell. Oh, I've got my coldest tumbler over there. I'm going to go drink drink that in a second. How many hours I've been streaming this? Probably four hours, right? I started at, what, 12.30? I was supposed to start at 11.30. Yeah, this is, this is not good, is it? I guess it's, I just don't want to, I don't want to rush it, you know, and then, because I've been, I've been there with PC building in the past, you know, where you're like, okay, let's just go, let's just fuck it, let's just rush, and then you realize you've, you've put, you know, you realize you put something, you put it all together, but you're going to have to take it all apart again to fit some sort of screw or fit in some sort of cable, you know, and I really don't feel like having to go backwards. I would rather just take my time here and... Take my time, get it right. Um, and not have to go back. You were two hours late, please. I wasn't two hours late, was I? I was like eleven. I was, I was supposed to stream at eleven thirty, but then realized that I didn't have my camera set up. Like I didn't this whole set up the the overview camera. I didn't have that set up. I was like, right, I need to get that done. And then, right when I was about to start the stream, in fact, I did start the stream. You guys just never saw it. I started the damn stream, right? And I'm like, oh, the PS, the, the graphics card is still in the damn, the graphics card is still in the streaming PC. <laughs> so I'm going to have to turn off the streaming PC and the, the stock track and stream and take the component, the new components out and then put the, put the, and then put the old components back in the stream PC so I could use the new ones for this. So that took a little extra while, and by the time I was done that, it was like an hour late. Okay. Put these bad boys back on here. Yep, 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 that's it. In you go, in you go. Mm, oh, he's clowning. Oh, okay. Bone for King. What are you like, dude? Oh, I like this. It lets you screw these screws in just a little bit so they could stay on the, the panel thing here. That way. Okay, cool. I like that. They've got a little bit of thread in here on the, on the cover. 
I like that, that's handy. You're running air or internal water block? Internal water block. Um, it's the, the Corsair H something. The Corsair IQ H150i Elite Catholix. Um, RGB. It's not like, it's obviously not all the custom water plumbing and stuff like that. I don't have the patience, you know, I, I, I barely have the patience for this in terms of doing all this. I mean, I, I like this, doing this sort of stuff, but I, I couldn't do anything more complicated than one of those pre, pre-built water reservoir radiator things. I've had one of them, I had one of them in the past on my old gaming PC that I built. Um, and it was actually really easy. You didn't have to do a lot of maintenance or nothing on it, so I'm, I was quite happy with going with that again. Well, credit goes to Mr. Cameron here for helping me get this done. I swear, it's like Cameron, I swear, if Cameron's like, got oh, fucking the sixth sense or something. I swear, he's like in the room. He'd be like, oh, I think your case has a, a fan, con fan controller. I'm like, there's no way Cameron can possibly know, and he's like, oh, no, I see it, you're right. It does, it does have a fan controller. I swear he's like he's he's got the ability to like go to people's houses as a ghost, like that one show. I can't remember. There's a show on Netflix where it like where people were able to like exit their bodies and like float around the world and see what other people were doing without actually physically being there. You could tell Cameron's like a fucking professional, a PC building. Thank God he's here. I built a few, <laughs> a few. <laughs> you know, I've really, I, I've, I've wanted a gaming PC for a long time. I used to have one years ago, but it got outdated. Um, it got outdated, and um, I've never built one since. And I've, the PS5 and Xbox came along, you know, and I was like, okay, I don't need a PC anymore. These, these are like as good. As good, if not almost as good as a PC gaming PC at like a fraction of the price. I mean, look how much I've spent. Look how much the value of this PC is worth, right? The X, yes, it's going to be a lot nicer experience than the PS5. But I mean, do you, do you really want to spend three thousand on a PC, or do you want to just be casual and just buy a console? But I guess what is it like over the? I guess I've there's been a few reasons like the ps5 it, the graphics on battlefield and the frame rate drops and stuff like that i'm just like there's little reasons why i've just been wanting to put gaming pc for a while and i'm finally i finally got around to doing it i've got the money saved which is good and i'm sure i'm sure the enjoyment i get out of this will be worth all the money that i spent on it I hope it is anyway. I could always use it, you know, if I get into 3D modeling or something or coding or something, you know, this might actually come in useful eventually. Um, nice. I still prefer external water block, but any water blocks makes things nicer. Usually your CPU fan is loud as fine. Getting rid of that makes it way quieter. Yes, thank you. Yeah, the, the streaming PC is really quiet actually. And I do, I'm not going to lie, I do like that quietness. And I know, I know water blocks are definitely the way to go for for a quiet build. Okay, that's that in. And the last one to go in now. Oh, there you go. Yep, screw, 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 screw. Power supply is installed. Oh, yeah. Hand tighten these for the most part. Right. All right, look at that. Not bad, huh? I don't know how much you could see here, but. Power supply, nice and flush with the back of the case, even. Looking good, looking good. Oh, and I'm guessing this is like the filter tray that slides out, right? For the fan at the bottom. Alright. Making good progress. Thank you, Marky Mark. Five hours in, I've, I've did the basics. <laughs> I still like the. I've still got to figure out the fan controller stuff. Uh, Cameron was talking about and how to get it all hooked up to the to the power supply. I'm not, as of right now, seeing a way unless the power supply is a cable that goes up to that fan controller. To power the fan controller. <laughs> And I think the 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 war block has its own like controller on it as well. So 
don't know. I think I think so far, right? I've got I've only got two problems facing me right now, and those two problems are fitting the radi radiator in, getting the, all the fans on the radiator co connected to the controller thing, getting the radiator installed onto the CPU with the thermal paste, and and then hooking up like all the I/O ports to the motherboard, and making sure the fans are all connected. And that's like, once I've got that done, once I've got the radiator installed into the case, I've got the water block thing attached to the CPU and mounted. And I've got the fans all connected to the power, then we should be good to go and just install the GPU, obviously. So we're making progress. We're getting there. It was looking pretty damn bleak at first, but thanks to the amazing, this amazing community, you know, stepping in and just helping with everything. You know, you guys have been a godsend. Really have. Oh, here we go. Pump fan. Ah, okay. So those those fan things, I think they go to the motherboard. They do. CPU fan one and a pump fan two. All right. Okay. We could be we could be going here. I'm not seeing. I mean, there's a lot of those cables there. Let me see. Oh no no. Hold on. Hold on a second. There's. Okay, so I, I okay, okay. So system fan three okay. So I'm gonna have to all those cables are like cable tied down. I'm gonna have to like work them around and plug them in and everything here. That's gonna be fun. Not really. Um now that I've got a PSU installed, should I work on installing the radiator? Or should I work on connecting the motherboard, all the like motherboard I/O stuff to the C to the um, motherboard? Do you think, Blaze? What do you recommend if my budget is two thousand? I can't tell you what I could what I recommend now, but the best thing to do is just look around, find you know, go to pcpartpicker.com or whatever it's called, and just like add the parts and try and find a good combination of good parts. Um, ob you obviously don't want to buy parts that that are going to go out of date in like a year, you know. Um, I'm, I've kind of went a little bit overboard on my PC. Um, $2,000 is going to buy you everything you basically need. To, I mean, if you if you can get one of the Founders Editions graphics cards, 2000 is going to let you build pr pretty much this PC here. Um, do your fans and power cables. Uh, radiator after. Okay, never enough. Attach the front I.O. cables. Right, roger that. Let's do that now. Woo! We're getting there. I just got to figure out what the front I/O, which ones are the front I/O cables. You know, they're all like bundled up here. Um, let me see. What are you? What side are you looking at? You're looking at that side. Let's go top down here. Okay, so here are all the damn. Like we've got. Okay, these go to the fan controller. So we've got one connector that looks like it connects to the motherboard, and we've got two connectors that look like they go to the motherboard. Then we've got another connector, that's four connectors, and we've got a fifth connector here. These are, okay, these are, I think these are the front I.O. information sort of boards, right? And this must be a Bluetooth adapter. It looks like a USB adapter here. Um, must connect to motherboard, this says. Okay. So these, I will swing round to the inside. HD audio. Okay. I'm just wondering what the hell these are all for. These, these are not long enough. I don't know if you could see, these are not long enough to go round anywhere. Unless it was to remove all these cable ties. Hmm. All right. Well, let's just put these around here and see if I could maybe do a bit of cable management now. Okay. Kill me. I already told you, like what. USB 2.0, okay. 
It used to be 2.0. Alright. Let's slot these in. Where can I get these to go around without looking hideous? The pump fan. The pump fan, well, that, that's radi- those are- those will be radiator things, right? RGB2 CPU fan Okay that, that- that- okay That- so these will should probably go down here at the bottom, right? Alright, so I'm gonna have to- how am I gonna do this? Get them go around Oh my god, dude. This is damn near impossible. This jumble of cables. What the hell are these for? It doesn't tell you on them. Wait, unless these are for like daisy chain and something. Hard drives. Um, right. And this thing. And where does this? What the hell does this go? This thing with the blue thing. This big blue thick ass cable. Does that go in the motherboard somewhere? Let me put these around here. I feel like I'm not getting enough lengths from them, you know? Let's go around. F panel, front panel, USB 2.0. Alright, I need to find the connectors on the front for these. My PS5 gigabit memory rise tomorrow. Best of luck, please. I'm going to head off. I'll check back later in my event. Ah, okay, thank you, Cameron. Thanks so much for your help so far. Uh, remove the cable ties and tie them once again. They're plugged in. Thanks again, Cameron. I really appreciate it, man. Have a good day today. Have you ever built a PC before, Frozen Gamer asks? No. Um... Oh, the blue one is the 3.0 connection for the front USB ports. Gotcha. Right, okay. Where could uh is that that is that does that plug in there? USB four point oh yes it is, I think. Uh SATA, okay. That blue bad boy I think goes in there. Okay. USB 4.0 Let's see Right cam Screw it, let's take off this stupid panel here. This doesn't need to be on, does it? Right now. This is just hindering. Hindering the build. This is hindering the build, this is. I think this is meant to come off anyway though. Bring your rooting these cables around. There we go. Uh -huh. Come on. Okay. Oh, is there something else connecting this at the back? There probably is. Isn't there? I 
Aha. There it is. And I think I'll do never enough suggestion of just undoing these cable ties for now until I get everything routed in. Yeah. Oh. I can go out the way for the time being. Here we get all these cables right in. Okay. probably want to go, it's probably going to go in here, right? Uh, oh, are we right? Okay. Okay, yes, P4 in. Okay, what's this? GFP front panel. Do they have a front panel? Front panel connector? Unless GFP P means front panel. Um. Hey young Shizzy, how's it going? He's getting through it, funny moments. Uh, looking good man, thank you man. Um, let me see funny moments, I mean, let's see if I could zoom into this. So this is that blue cable that Cameron says was a USB 3 or USB 4, right? So, okay, I'm gonna have to get the old motherboard. I mean, no, yeah, the motherboard. Look out here to see where all the connections are supposed to go. Is this a motherboard? Yeah, this is a motherboard case. Front panel, HD audio. The ports with the, the power LED. Looks like they are part of a different cable here. Let's see here. What cable am I missing here? Okay. USB 2.0, okay. 
Where's the front panel cables? Where did those go? Or where did those come off to? Where do these tape off to here? Cables is telling me to put in for the front I.O. It's saying on here, I think it's see, see? It's saying you've got your HD, L HD LED. Oh, this is a motherboard thing. This is the motherboard. The case, the case just gives you a stupid big cable connector. Ah, here it is. Don't be afraid to unbolt the motherboard if you need. Yeah, I'd, um, yeah, I'm not at that point just yet. I was looking for this cable, um, because the the motherboard thing was saying I needed I needed all these little things. I don't know if you could see that, and it turns out this connects to the one of the front panel port things here that I didn't understand what it was for. So, front panel cable, and this little do doohickey here, I guess, connects to this front panel cable. But what orientation does it go? That's the thing. Okay, thankfully it tells me. So, front panel there, and this goes in it that way. Watch that. Oh. Well, it can't go like that because then it'll be misaligned. There's not a hole there for front panel. What's this one? HD audio. Do I have more than one front panel connector? No, I don't. So, I'll just put this in the way it says it can go in. Okay. Oh. Okay, look good, look good. Alright. All these pins are like bent to shit. Well, they're not bent to shit, but... Alright, now we're good. But now this... Gives me an extra bit of length that I could go down here and attach to all this stuff on the motherboard now. Now I could go back to the motherboard guide and know where to put that. So that goes into GFP1. GFP1, where's GFP1? Aha, this GFP1. So I can actually reroute that and put that under. Oh, can you see? You guys can't really see, can you? Yeah. That's probably a better view. I could probably put this over here. All these little individual connectors. And have that nestled in there. So. We have two in there. Yeah, so we've got like... Good. I'm not understanding that here.
This is missing a thing. Oh, it is. Okay, good. Perfect. We're good. Um, HD LED goes here. What's the plus and negative here? Can you tell you which one's plus and negative? No. Okay. Is it okay? If I'm the say. I'm catching feelings okay. from all the dealings. God, dude. What do you say? Build a PC, they said. <laughs> That's that in. Um, now the reset switch is going to go in that way, too. There's a reset switch. Power SW. Power switch. There's a reset switch. Am I seeing the reset switch? Unless the power is a reset switch. Let's see. Power. What are these two? PL Ed plus PL Ed negative. Power LED. Power LED plus negative. Right. Gotcha. Roger that. Uh, the plus will go here. Okay. So double check plus yes okay I won't deny her love for me is real and kind of suicide she's not the same she's such a rare type she's far from plain at least in my eyes she said it was a negative B plus but yeah that's still my bed Go oh, negative, sorry, that's negative. Yeah, you need small hands for this. That's that in. And I believe this is the, what is this? This is the, this little cable here is a power switch. And the power switch goes at the top there. All right. Oh, I'm putting that onto the wrong damn adapter. Huh. Like an idiot. There we go. Gosh, guys, this is the one of the most fiddly parts. This bit here, one of the most fiddly parts. And gloves ain't easier, is it? I mean, making it harder for myself with the gloves. In you go. Yes. And then power LED negative in this little tiny thing. 
like I says, I know, I mean, I know basics to BC building, right? I mean, I know this. I knew I was going to have to do this at some point. Um, and what's left? This is the, this is the power switch. So the power switch goes at the, the plus negative up there. Okay. Power switch, power switch. Okay. Fine. Let's just get that turned around. Come on, come on. Sorry, I'm not reading the chat. I'm in the midst of getting this put in. Hey, we've got the front IO connectors. Yes. The front IO connectors have been installed, as has the USB 4 and the USB 3.1 adapter. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Is that another? What's that? USB 3. Hmm. I could put that into the US. What does that say? Does that say USB 3? USB 3.1 Gen 1. Okay, I probably not. I probably not got USB 4 then. It's got. It's a USB 4 motherboard, and there's a USB 4 slot on the motherboard for USB 4. But uh, I don't think. I don't think it matters if I put a 3.1 USB adapter into the USB 4 slot, right? It should not matter much. I wish it wasn't wiggly so much. There we go. Alright, what's the chat saying? Never enough log, great. Don't forget your front USB port connections. Yes! Thank you, sir, for reminding me about those. In fact, no, I think that is the I think that is the connect. I think that is the connector for the USB connect sure connectors at the front. Yeah, two USB connectors and a type C. I think those all get handled via the This get all get handled via the blue cable, right? That big that big thick blue cable. I think. But has to, yeah, I think they all have to go through there. Well, let me just double check. There could be an extra cable here that I'm missing. I think you're right, actually. I think there's a USB 2 cable here for the USB 2 slots. Yep, there is. So that will go, I'm guessing, spine from that. Pump fan. USB 2, there it is. There's a USB 2 slot there. This is going to, oh, I'm going to need some extra length on this cable. <sighs> At least I think we've got the front I.O. Mostly done now, which is one of my big worries about getting done. The front I.O. is a pain in the tatas. And the HD audio, I'm going to have to figure out where that goes into. Uh, but it's fine. I'll get this done. It's just getting done. Oh, this cable just don't give you much length at all, does it? For, for shit. Unless it wants me to wrap it round here. Which is also doable. And putting it round. Will it go all the way over there for the USB 2? It should do actually, just. It should just manage it. Let's make sure those I don't disconnect those stupid front I.O. ports in the meantime. Let's put that down there. Yes, we've done it! <laughs> uh, USB 2. Alright, there's a... There's an empty slot there. Okay, so that must go at the bottom there. Makes sense. Let's get the phone fan on. The phone LED. USB 2, slot you in there. Oh my goodness me. There's the, yes! Yes! The front I.O. The power button and everything, it's all hooked up to the motherboard like a champ. Sweet. And that wasn't actually, you know, that's one of the things I dread most, is just connecting up all these damn, <laughs> connecting up all these, all these damn cables and stuff. Um, 
It was a scam call. Good, goodbye. It should be backwards compatible. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Salvador, how you doing, man? Long you been at it for? I've been at it for, let me just see. How long have I been at it for? Four hours I've been at it. Four hours. In fact, maybe more than four. Yeah, but four hours. And I've, I'm still, I'm still like nowhere near actually finishing right now. You know? <laughs> four hours in. Ten hours away from completion, dude. And the autofocus like still was keep switching off and on. Okay. <sighs> I have that same flashlight. <laughs> you do have the same flashlight, don't you? Very handy. I love this Galaxy Fold, man. I love it. I'm always on it. I went from being like really comfortable on my iPhone to like loving my Galaxy Fold and then now I'm like fuck. Some things I need my iPhone for like, well for example iMessage. And it's, it's a pain in the ass transferring photos from my Galaxy phone to my iPad for editing. Um, let's see what next do I need to do. Alright this is the HD audio so let's plug that in shall we. HD audio. Let's go to the. This is the. Is this a case? Yeah, this is the one of the case things. HD audio. So let's look up and see if we can find a HD audio connector here. USB five. What the hell is that? A USB five connector. Uh, fan. That's that CPU fan one. I guess that's where the power for the CPU fan goes into. CPU power goes up there. All right, we have to route this things down there. What's this for again? This is the HD audio. All right, there's a there's a G audio. Yeah, there's a G audio connector there. Oh, this is yep, that goes in there. Oh god, dude, it's like. It's fun, but it's at the same time it's it's scary because you don't know how. Oh, my cable management is is literally going to shit right now, guys. It's not pretty at the back here. It's not pretty at the back. That's all right. So that's um, it's the audio. Okay, and that goes in there. Sweet. Come on, it's it's I know it's a tight fit, sweetheart. Come on. It's a tight fit, but we could do it. Come on, you know you've got this. Uh huh, uh huh, line up, there we go, in we go. Ah, it's slotted in nicely. There we go. Okay, so that's the HD audio plugged into the motherboard. Lovely. We've got all the front IO connectors, power button, and everything connected up. We've got the USB ports connected into the appropriate slots. <laughs> okay, I think we're done with that now although i feel like system fan one two three four we've got system fan connectors here on the motherboard and we've got a shitload of these connectors here like how would this even connect to anything like where does this go it's not there's not even enough length here to get that down there i'm confused Okay. There's no way in hell that I'm going to get all these connectors down into there. No way. This is where it doesn't make sense to me. Um, look at this. So... Now let's focus. So... As you could see, I don't know if you could see. Mm -hmm. So here's all, all like the front, the front fans and everything. 
front fans, the front I.O., the buttons and stuff like that, they all get routed down into here. Okay. So the, the USB 3.1 cable, I managed to bend around there to fit into the side of the motherboard. Um, and some of the, like, the audio and the power buttons and USB and stuff, it's all fed around, plugged into the motherboard. Then they've got all, we've got all these things. All these like fan connectors, which, which I feel like they, they don't have the length on them to go to do any sort of cable management. You know, like how would I even get one, all these things? How would I get all these things down? And then there's this, like, SATA cable connector here. Oh, man. Like, I don't... Like, on the mother... If you look inside the motherboard here, you could obviously see that, like... You could obviously see that there's a lot of connectors down there that... For fan... For fans at the bottom there. But how the hell am I going to route them through? It, it, Right them through the back of the case and to the front and plug them in. You know, there's just not enough length on them to do that. Unless I just say screw it, you know. I want all the fans working. Next front case fans. If you're using the CPU fan because of the water block, fans should be fine. Connect to any fan connector on the motherboard. If you're using the CPU fan because of water block, fans should be fine to connect to any fan connector on the motherboard. Okay. Ah, that was a cap cover. Okay. It's supposed to go up well here. Thank you. 
There isn't any fan connectors on the side of motherboard closest to the front. Okay, no, I don't believe really think No, there isn't. Thanks for bringing that up. That's the first thing I checked for. Because that's the only way they would... I could see... There's a pump fan connector up here. I don't know if you could see that. Let me see. There's a pump fan connector up here, but I'm guessing that's going to be what the radiator connects to, right, for power. Got the CPU fan that'll connect in there. Got the CPU power supply connection there. Um, pump fan there. So I'm guessing there'll be two connectors for the pump and the the fan. One of the fan. I don't know how did. God, am I? These connect. These connect. They don't. They don't cover a lot of these connectors when you're doing on videos, do they? Build a PC. Just slap the RAM in. Slap the CPU in. Slap the NVMe in. Slap the power supply in. Connect the power supply to the motherboard. Slap the graphics card in. Connect the power supply to the graphics card. And then Bob's your uncle. You've got a pre-built, you've got a built PC and you did it yourself. They don't, what well, they don't, I'll tell you what they don't do. They don't do, <laughs> they don't do, they don't say, all oh, right, you're, um, you've got like 50 different like fan connectors that you've got to try and get connected to all these little tiny delicate pins. And every motherboard is different. They don't talk about that, do they? When, on these build videos. Let's get to back old, let's get back on old YouTube again and see what this guy's up to. I left him when he was installing the power supply. Now he's putting paste on the... Oh, lovely, he just, he just skips the whole radiator installation. That's handy, dude. That's real handy. Thanks a lot. That's the, yeah, definitely. Re installing the radio is just something I didn't need to learn for sure, yeah. Yeah, you've just skipped about 50 steps. Thanks. Makes a nice video, but not very helpful for someone. Okay, this guy's got the same case. How to build it? Great. Got him. Looks good. Oh no! My glove! My glove's torn! Welcome. Mine's like a prune. Okay, this is a lot of this. Oh god, this guy got his PC built in three hours and twenty-two minutes. I'm at like four hours, going on five. So even like the eighteen cores of Intel, like ten nine eighty XC. Let's pull this out. Oh, this guy's got the same motherboard as me, more or less. Okay, CPU install. Okay, this this guy has his stuff together. NVMe SSD install. Okay. Oh, 
stay safe in there. So then the top frame here, this comes off, that is what you need. The rest of the case, now. Let's pull this. There's the rat. Whoa. Uh, this thermal paste over there. Let's have a look at what it looks like. Drip. Yeah. Yeah, I've been running and running. We keep it a hundred. It's all that I wanted. But lately, I don't want to stop it. The higher the stomach, the harder the plummet. They know me up with this plan. I'm just a man and I can't understand it. Now that I win and I did it myself. I'm a little more than a fuck of the hell. Here we go. I'm all on myself. Do I want to put the radiator on the top or do I want to put them on the bottom? Yeah, Septastic, what do you need to help me with? Um, I had to run there and it looks like Blaze is making progress. I am making progress. I see a blue wig. You do see a blue wig? Oh, you do see a blue wig. Hey, the wig, that's my real ear. That's definitely not the wig, dude. Um, <laughs> um, so basically, where I'm at right now is... I've installed the front I.O., all the front USB ports, the power cable, like the power button and stuff, onto the motherboard a little bit messily. Um, looks, it's, it, basically, it's a little bit messy, dude. Um, now, I've got all these fan connectors at the back here. Like, the back is just a, a, a mesh, um, modge, hodgepodge, like, just a mess of... Um, Cables, connectors, and I don't know where to connect them all to. You probably can't see very well. But, yeah, basically, 
this is where I'm at and I'm stuck at really so these are all the cable channel things right where all the cables run down into why does this keep changing to manual focus hold on a second let me go to the menu figure this out here figure out why the focus has been a pain in the butt Continuous autofocus, yes. And lock on continuous focus, please. So, yeah, cables go down like the fans here on the inside, um, the front IO, and everything, they all come down here onto this mishmash of cables. Some of the cables for the I.O. and everything, USB ports, I've put, put them around there to plug and plug them into the motherboard. But what I'm not too sure about is all these damn fan cables, you see? These things, like, where do these go? And they're sure as hell not long enough to go all the way down under and into the motherboard at the fan connectors. They're just not long enough. And there's loads of them. Look, there's one, two. One, two. Th one, two. Three. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. There's like five of them down here. Five of these little things. And this is like, at the back of the case, this is as far as they come down. How are you running front fan cables if you're trying to run them up where the proper cables are and back down? That's your length issue. Fan cables usually aren't long. What are you... What do you need to have with? Run the fan cables as straight as possible unless you bought extension cables for them. Thank you. Usually don't get hidden well. Ah, fuck. I don't know if all these need to be connected or if they're all like daisy chaining off each other, you know? Like, are they daisy chaining off one another? Hmm. So, do I only need to like connect one of them to the motherboard? That's what I'm trying to figure out, because like a lot of these SAT cables from the power supply, a lot of them are like daisy chaining, daisy chaining off one another. You don't need them all plugged in. And I'm trying to figure out if this is the same thing over here. If maybe I'm overthinking it, you know? Um, front case fan reply. Over there. 
can How By the way, what do you think about the new Windows 7? Alright dude I like to have the call across like that. RAM install, cable management. Keys from panel cables to the motherboard, okay. may need to buy extension cables like you said I'm pretty sure you will figure out. Connections are pretty simple. Once you do it again, it'll be ten times easier. Yeah, that's it. I need to do something. Falling asleep in your stream. Sorry, please. After all, see you later. Never enough. Thank, you. thank you for popping in. Mm. Yeah, I might just have to call it a night, I think, on this. Five hours, I mean, four or five hours trying to build this, you know, it's, it's, getting, it's getting a little bit ridiculous. I need to just relax, I need to just go there and have a drink, spend time with the family, I think, and continue this tomorrow. Because there's a lot of stuff here that it's just, I'm um, really struggling with. So I just need to get it, man. I need to be the thing that I just painted out, man. You will go see. And I just don't have the the cable length to to plug all this stuff in. I am ready to 
fire I got a million desires that I just need to go achieve I just need to acquire So I've been climbing up this ladder Yes, I'm going up higher I need to do it till the day that I might retire Holding on to what I know To everything I've learned But it's real and fabricated What is wrong? What is my problem? How can I get out of this world that I created? A break will do wonders. Yeah, I think so. I think it is break time. I was really hoping that I could get this done in like, you know, three, four, four hours, five hours, but yeah, it's just like, can I hit a brick wall a little bit, you know? I don't know if I'm going to need extensions. I don't even know where the hell all these fan ports plug into on the motherboard. There ain't, and they're not long enough to go down and under. Um. No, thanks everyone for tuning in. Oh, I'll probably continue this tomorrow, and maybe I'll get some. Maybe get some. What do you call them? System fan. One, two, three, four. System fan. One, two, three, four. Probably get some fan extension cables then off Amazon, get it delivered for tomorrow morning and then and then I can continue where I left off. And do a bit of research tonight as well. Oh, Wednesday, October 13th, for real? Oh, damn it. Okay, some, okay, some have some for tomorrow. Some Chinese cables. <laughs> that was probably to set, set it on fire. When you're done streaming, check outside the front door on your porch. Oh, okay, Mark. Mark, I told you not to get anything, dude. All right, you have all day tomorrow to tackle the rest. You're right, Michael. Thanks, man. You take a break, please. Go have some dinner, family then. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Sorry, it was, it was meant to be. It was meant to be like a fun stream, you know. I'm like sweating here. Jeez, oh. It was meant. It was meant to be like a fun stream where you know, build a PC, a couple of hours, get it turned on, play. You know, get Battlefield Beta installed, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen now. Well, thanks everyone so much for tuning in and giving me support, the moral support, and giving me wise advice and tips, stuff like that. I mean, a lot of it, let's be honest, a lot of everything that I've done so far is stuff I've been able to do because you guys helped with your tips and advice. Um, and like, like you said, like, you know, like never enough said, you know, I'm doing this for the first time in a long time. And once I get once I get it all figured out, it's gonna be a piece of cake after that, hopefully. That'll be a piece of cake. The next time I decide to build a PC. Um so yeah. I love you. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one. Um Thanks for tuning in. Let me read the chat as I'm going away. Shit happens, bro. Yeah, Camellia, man. At least at least the good thing is we don't we I don't think I've destroyed it yet. It's not destroyed. I've not fried nothing. Not yet anyway. Um, I feel like we made the progress. We installed the power supply, CPU, RAM, everything, you know, motherboards in. Now I've just got to do a little bit of cable work and then install the radiator and then graphics card and then power it on. Alright guys, take care. Have a good night. I'm gonna I'm gonna need a drink tonight, you know, I'm gonna have to break my little drinking fast already. Learned that there's a lot of stuff building a PC. You think so, Michael? I mean I just there's a guy on YouTube whose video that I'm watching and his he built his in like three hours and he's like a he's a pretty professional guy, you know. He looks like he does this as a career, so Yeah. There's a lot to do. And it's problem solving as well. So anyways guys, love you. Take care. Peace out. Have a good night and thanks so much, Mark. I'm gonna go. I'll message you, Mark, afterwards. All right, Mark. Do where do I? Where can I contact you besides the stream? Are you on Twitter? Do I? Oh, you. I've got you on Twitter, right? Twitter DMs. All right, I'll speak to you on Twitter, man. Thank you. You watch Tyson? Damn right, I'm watching the Tyson Fury fight tonight. Um, British computer guy gave me a magical link, so I'm gonna go check that out after I get off. 
and go down and chill. So thanks again, everyone. I love you. Fucking appreciate you. And I'll, I'll before I go downstairs, I'll set up the twenty-four hour stock track and stream again. Get that turned on, and then I'll jo I'll mess I'll join the chat room on there later on. Okay, and um, I'll update you on the fight, and we could talk about the fight on there or Discord. Anyways, peace out. Have a good night. Love you guys. Peace.